KSAM is KSAM Huntsville. And you're listening to the Bearcat Sports Network. This is the Bearcat Sports Network. It's time for Sam Houston State University Bearcat Basketball. 101.7 KSAM has every dribble, swish, and squeak from buzzer to buzzer live. Now let's head down to the floor with the voice of the Bearcats, Rob Hip. All right, friends, a pleasant good evening, and thanks for joining us for another edition of Sam Houston Men's Basketball here as uh, the team is live tonight in Lincoln, Nebraska. They left on Friday night, flew in, or on Friday morning flew out, and then uh, actually left yesterday, flew in, landed, went through a walkthrough, and now ready to rock and roll. And actually, earlier, the weather report in Lincoln, a little bit of snow flurries, quite cold. We're not having to worry about that, though, back in Huntsville, Texas. Sam Houston trying to take care of business again for a second consecutive game, but this will be the toughest contest of this early season as they'll go right to a Power 5 school in the Big Ten Conference. The Huskers, though, they are coming off of a loss and an upset brought to them just uh, back on Tuesday night. The Huskers are 0-1 now. They had a 75-74 loss to Western Illinois in Tuesday's opener as Nebraska rallied from a seven-point deficit with just under 10 minutes left. They built a four-point lead in the final minute, only to see Western Illinois hit a pair of three-pointers in the final 30 seconds to escape with a one-point victory. Nebraska held Western Illinois to 39% shooting on the night, but they allowed 23 offensive rebounds. That led to 22 second-chance points for the Leathernecks. Nebraska averaged 21 assists per game and two exhibition games earlier this season. They had just six in the season opener and shot 39% from the field. That loss spoiled a pair of strong Husker debuts. We're going to mention these guys tonight as Arizona State transfer Alonzo Verge Jr. He had 26 points, a career high 13 rebounds, five assists for his first career double double. And the freshman guard Bryce McGowan's title totaled 25 points, including 10 of 12 from the foul line and six boards in his debut. It was the most points a Husker freshman had ever scored in his debut and the 10th all-time for any freshman at Nebraska. For Sam Houston, this is a team they have faced Nebraska four times before, going back to January the 5th of 1989. The first three matchups were losses, and all of them have been in Lincoln. They started back in 88-89. They played again the following year and then played in the 91-92 season. The most recent, though, was in 2001 in the 02 season. It was a game on December the 15th of 2001 where Sam Houston was victorious on the road in that game, 74-70. We'll step aside. We'll take a brief break, and when we come back, we'll talk more about this one. Stay with us. Pre-game continues from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Sam Houston Athletics would like to thank the following partners. Sam Houston Alumni Association, Art Tech Signs and Lighting, Aspen Heights, Barefoot Campus Outfitters, Bill Thick Ford, and Chicken Express. Thank you for supporting your Bearcats. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. For any of your shipping, faxing, copying, or notarizing needs, get on down to Pack and Ship. Big or small, they ship it all. Conveniently located right off 45 on Highway 30 next to Hobby Lobby. At Pack and Ship, there are no lines. They have a kind, experienced staff ready to help you. Pack and Ship, happily serving all residents of Walker County and the surrounding areas. Pack and Ship. Ticket Smarter is glad we are back to holding live events. If you are looking to buy tickets to the best sports, concerts, and theater events, all at the very best price, look no further than TicketSmarter.com or on the app. Buying tickets at Ticket Smarter will help support children in need. For every ticket transaction on Ticket Smarter, one dollar will be donated to a children's charity. Ticket Smarter is proud to be the official ticketing partner of Bearcat Athletics. Ticket Smarter, a smarter way to buy tickets. Curious about what real estate agents enjoy the most? It's about reminding our clients that dreams really do come true. Remax is the number one real estate company nationwide. Remax Prime Properties is a locally owned family business in Huntsville. Need a realtor knowledgeable in our area? Call one of our experienced agents and let us guide you home. Remax Prime Properties is located at 1215 Financial Plaza, Huntsville, Texas, and is a proud partner of SHSU Athletics. Eat them up, cats. 
Welcome back, friends. Rob Hebb from Pinnacle Bank Arena, where the team is tonight in Lincoln, Nebraska. Thanks for joining us for Sam Houston men's basketball for their second game of the season. I had a chance to catch up with Jason Hooten, head coach, a little bit earlier today. We'll take a break, and we'll have that interview when we come back from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Sam Houston Athletics would like to thank the following partners. City Hall Cafe, City of Huntsville, Community Service Credit Union, Conroe CVB, Crossing Moving and Storage, Dos Equis, and Whataburger. Thank you for supporting your Bearcats. Every life is unique. Some are filled with sports or music. Whatever memories you have, you can trust the hometown experts at Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home. I'm Greg Smith owner of Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home, and we have planned and arranged thousands of services, each as unique as the life being celebrated. When it's time, you can trust us to help you and your family plan a remembrance to mirror a life well lived. We're Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home because every life deserves to be celebrated. Rob Hip here, pregame with Sam Houston men's basketball head coach Jason Hooten on the pregame show as we look ahead to today's contest versus the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Coach, first and foremost, how you doing, and how was the trip in? Well, the trip was uh, it was short. I mean, you know, we played obviously Wednesday night. I think by the time I got home, it was ten thirty or eleven, and we were leaving for the airport at eight thirty. So it was a quick turnaround. This will be the first time that a lot of these guys have ever traveled. And, you know, come into a venue like this. So it's going to be interesting to see how we respond. Uh, as far as how it is here, it's really, really cold and really, really windy. And we got some snow flurries going right now. So it's definitely different than it is at home right now. Well, we're hoping and praying that all that cold weather will stay up there. Coach, we go back to Wednesday night, a 97-54 to victory in that season opener versus Letourneau. Just kind of briefly your thoughts on that game. Well, I thought we came out and played – you know, we played hard. I don't know if we always played as efficient as I wanted to. Um, I think we took way, way too many quick shots. And I believe in the first half, you know, at one point in the first half, we were like one for 17 on unassisted baskets. And, you know, that's just not, not good enough. Uh, in the second half, we were much better. I think we were about a 55% clip on assisted baskets, maybe like 24 for 55 or something like that. And so much better, um, much, much, much better. And we moved the ball better at times and, and shared the ball and, you know, it's just going to take some time, Rob, getting those guys to understand how to play with each other and play together and, you know, and then just understanding what I want and uh, and what we need to do to, to be to be good. And, and I do believe this team will figure it out. I just think it's going to take us a little while. Well, today on the road, of course, facing the Nebraska Cornhuskers, this is a team that Sam Houston, I believe, has faced four previous times. The most recent matchup was back on December the 15th in 2001, and the Huskers in that game lost to Sam Houston, their only loss in this four game series dating all the way back to 1989 it was a 74 to 70 loss then of course nothing back then really relevant now but coach kind of the mindset heading into this Nebraska team well they they are very very talented um you know I, I think that you know they lost their home opener to western Illinois and had had two days to prepare for us and I'm sure those practices were were very intense and I'm sure they got a lot done and got a lot better in that time and tried to improve on some of those things that that they didn't do well against Western Illinois and you know we'll have our hands full from that aspect not to mention that they're, they're very very talented they've got a a, a two guard um, that's you know an NBA lottery uh, projected NBA lottery type pick and uh you know, their, their size is, is – their guards are big, but they're not overly inside big. And so I do think we can match up inside with them. Um, but it's just going to be a tough game. I mean, anytime you play a power five on the road uh, in a hostile environment, you, you know that it's going to be a tough outing. And now it's time for the Coach Houghton's Keys to the Game presented by Emblem Properties Real Estate. Coach, what do you have to do in this one? Well, we got to keep the ball in front of us. They, uh, they got a lot of really good one-on-one -on -one basketball players, you know, guys that, you know, can really – get to the basket and when they dribble they they can go make plays and make things happen so we've got to keep the ball in front um you know number two we, we've got to we've got to rebound the basketball at a high level you know they've given up 23 uh 12 and 23 offensive rebounds in their three games and that's got to be a, a key to us tonight is to go get them on the glass and i think the last one is that we've got to take care of the ball you know we can't have our turnovers turn into easy baskets and transition for them we, we We've got to make them try to score in a half court. We've got to keep it in front, as I said earlier. And, and then, you know, just take care of the ball and execute because I do think we'll get some good shots. And, 
you know, like anything on the road, Rob, you got to make shots. And hopefully tonight, tonight where, you know, we can make 12 or 13 or 14 threes. Well, the keys of the game was brought to you by Emblem Properties Real Estate, who offers the customer service difference where our clients are number one. Coach, as always, appreciate your time and eat them up, cats. Eat them up, cats. Thanks, Rob. This will wrap up our pregame with head coach Jason Hooden. More pregame when we come back from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. You might know that State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has great service. She is your good neighbor after all. Did you know State Farm has surprisingly great rates too? Yep. Along with good neighbor service, State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has surprisingly great rates for everyone in Huntsville and Walker County. So call State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes at 936-295-2686 for your surprisingly great rates today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. All right, friends, welcome back. Rob Hip from Pinnacle Bank Arena in Lincoln, Nebraska on the campus of Nebraska, want to welcome everybody in. Thanks for joining us for Sam Houston men's basketball tonight. We'll quickly go over the starting lineup for the Cornhuskers of Nebraska. They'll start with a six foot, 464 pound senior guard, number one, Alonzo George. A six foot, 496 pound junior guard out of Pendleton, South Carolina. It's number two, Trey McGowans. A six foot, 779 pound freshman guard out of Pendleton, South Dakota, number five, Bryce McGowans. A six foot five, 221 pound gr- fresh, freshman guard out of Plainfield, New Jersey, number zero, CJ Wilcher. And last but certainly not least for the Huskers, a six foot nine, 239 pound junior forward out of Kansas City, Missouri, number 13, Derek Walker. And now it's time for your Sam Houston men's Bearcat starting lineup. Jumper here, Tristan Aitpay starting early, and the Bearcats take a two-point advantage. Find Lampley from the corner, weaving through traffic. The jumper, the two-shot, the yes, there it is. To Marcus Lampley for two. Turn on the light. Over to Jaron Cook for three. Light the stove, baby. It's Jaron Cook, and the Bearcats are on fire here in the first half. He pulls it back down, though. Oh, what a play by Javion May as he hauled in aggressively the offensive rebound and dropped it back in off the right side of the glass. Dante Powers, zing, zang, bang, there it is for two. Oh, call dancing with the stars. We got a new celebrity on the court. It's Dante Powers. Hey, saying I can dance just as good as you guys on TV. I do it on the basketball court. At guard, a six foot seven, 215 pound grad senior from Texas A&M University, number one Savion Flag. At guard, a six foot two, 195 pound junior from Chicago, Illinois, number 11, I'm Javion May. At forward, a six foot six, 225 pound senior from Deer Park, Texas, number 12, I'm Tristan Ebay. At guard, a six foot two, 170 pound junior from Starkville, Mississippi, number 24, I'm Dante Powers. At guard, a six two, 175 pound senior from Phoenix City, Alabama, number three, I'm lighting up. The mark is Lampley. So once again, your Sam Houston starters tonight. Powers, Lampley, Flag, Ikpe, and JV on May. And then once again, for the Nebraska Cornhuskers, it is Verge Jr., McGowan's, and both the brothers, Trey McGowan's, Bryce McGowan, C.J. Wilcher, and Derek Walker. We'll step aside. We'll take a one-minute break. We'll have tip-off when we come back from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. The Bearcat Pavilion at Bowers Stadium is a new and exciting place to enjoy Bearcat football. Fans will find Smokin' Sammy's Barbecue, sodas, beer and wine, and a number of other food options from atop the southwest corner overlooking all of the action at Bowers Stadium. The Bearcat Pavilion can be reserved on game days for pregame and or postgame private functions and may also be reserved for private events throughout the year. For more information about Bearcat Pavilion at Bowers Stadium, call 936-294-2701. Sam Houston Bearcats are national champions. Don't miss the excitement of Bearcat football. Season tickets and single game seats still available. Call the Bearcat ticket office at 936-294-1729 or go online at gobearcats.com forward slash tickets. Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip here for Sam Houston men's basketball from Pinnacle Bank Arena in Lincoln, Nebraska. Thanks for joining us. I want to remind you that the Bearcat fan text line is open tonight. You can text us at 512-522-9105. Again, that's the Bearcat fan text line. It's open. 
at 512-522-9105. We'll also get to some of those in the booth social media feeds as well. I want to welcome in any fans that are joining us on those feeds. Let us know where you're listening from tonight, and we'll get to that. We heard from Coach Hooten a little bit earlier talking about going into this game. This is a Nebraska team that is coming off of a loss and an upset loss, as I mentioned earlier, against Western Illinois. And so they'll try to rebound tonight. And when you've got a team that is upset like that, you better believe that they're going to come out hot here tonight. Sam Houston 1-0 in this early season. They opened the other night with a 97-54 victory over Laterno. That was on Wednesday night at Johnson Coliseum back in Huntsville. In that game, the Bearcats jumped out to a 12-0 lead in the first 209, they built a 25-point lead in the first 10 minutes to seize control. Demarcus Lampley had eight of the Bearcats' first 10 points, and then the Texas A&M transfer graduate Savion Flag had 20 points in that ball game, along with Demarcus Lampley. That placed four players in double figures. The Bearcats have four starters returning from a team that went 19-9 last season, 13-3 in conference play, led by Lampley, the senior guard who averaged just under 15 points a game, including 40% from three-point range, on his way to earning first-team All-Southland Conference accolades in 2021. For the Cornhuskers, Nebraska got to the foul line 31 times in their season opener on Tuesday night. That was the second highest total at head coach Fred Hoiberg's tenure at Nebraska. The 23 made free throws. The 23 made free throws was the most in a single game for Nebraska under Hoiberg. I mentioned a little bit earlier for head coach Jason Hooden entering this ball game in his seasons here with Sam Houston in his 12th year. All of them at Sam Houston. 217 wins, 147 losses. And for Nebraska under head coach Fred Hoiberg, 0-1 to start the season. His record at Nebraska in his third year, only 14 wins, 46 losses, and his eighth overall coaching career, 129 wins and 102 losses. And for Nebraska, getting things going tonight, of course, Sam Houston, and then they'll face Creighton. That coming up on November the 16th, a few days later at Idaho State, facing Southern Tennessee State, South Dakota. We still got a few games going, and then finally we'll get things underway in the Big Ten on December the 7th for conference action. For Sam Houston, still early season, working on identity, trying to figure out who they are. Coming into this game, 42.7% from the field, just over 26% from three-point land, and right under 60% on their free throws. So that is an area that Sam Houston is going to have to watch out for. One area they struggled last year, and I talked about this a lot on the first game on Wednesday, was the rebounding. They did a pretty good game a, a game ago on the rebounds, but here we'll see what they can do against this very tough opponent in the Nebraska Cornhuskers. It's a packed house at Pinnacle Bank Arena, and we are moments away from tip-off. The players making their way onto the court for Nebraska tonight. They will be in their white jerseys, white pants, trimmed in red with the Nebraska logo on the pant legs, the names on the back of the jerseys. And for Sam Houston, they'll be in their road black jerseys, black shorts, numbers in orange, outlined in white, Savion flag set on the Huskers logo at center court. The state of Nebraska logo, the opening tip, is controlled in the backcourt by Bryce McGowans. From left to right we go. We are underway here. Friday night basketball, thanks for joining us. This one goes to the top of the key to Derek Walker. Walker goes back up over to Burge Jr. Burge on the left wing. Trying to work from the left elbow inside the paint. Flips this one over and it's thrown out of bounds. As Burge was looking for his teammate Bryce McGowan's just out of his reach. And it's a turnover and the Bearcats will have it for the first time tonight. Bearcats moving from right to left, bringing in the front court is Dante Powers. Powers guarded by Burge Jr. at the top of the three-point line. High pass goes into the hands of Savion Flag. He'll take a three. This one off the front of the rim, no good. Rebound, Tristan Ikpe. We talked about the rebounds, there they are. Here's another chance for the offense. Back over to Savion Flag to Demarcus Lampley on the right wing. Back over, Dante Powers, left wing three. This one off the back of the iron. Another offensive rebound. Powers has it from the right elbow. Flips it from inside the paint. This shot isn't there. He gets another rebound. But here we've got a whistle, and it may be a foul, actually, against Dante Powers. Boy, the Bearcats, three opportunities on that trip, and they were not able to connect. And a foul called there on Demarcus Lampley. It's his first personal and the first team foul for the Bearcats. So on the court, it is Demarcus Lampley, Dante Powers, Tristan Ipe was out there a few moments ago. Dante Powers just picking up that foul just a few moments ago as the Huskers will bring it from left to right. 
Guarded by Dante Powers, it is Verge Jr. Working to the right wing. Inside the paint, flips this one. No foul is called. Here's a corner three. McGowan's, yes. Boy, McGowan's just buried it from the right corner. And Nebraska will take the first lead of the night. 3-0 as we're just underway here in Nebraska. 18.46 to go in the first half of play as Savion Flag, the Texas A&M graduate transfer, has it back up top over to Powers. Powers working off a two-high screen inside to Ipe. Ipe finds Lampley. Thought about a three, now takes a long two from the left wing. That shot isn't there. Another offensive rebound, Savion Flag. This one not good, hauls it down and eventually drops it. An opportunity there for Savion, couldn't come up with it. Here is back into the hands of Lat Mayen. And Mayen over to the left wing. Finds Verge Jr. Verge Jr. back over to the right corner. Mayen for three. This one rattles in and out. No good. 3-0 just underway here in the first half. Bearcats trailing on the road in Lincoln, Nebraska. As Dante Powers brings it from right to left across the half-court logo, the Huskers logo with the state of Nebraska behind it. Powers up top over to Savion Flag, working a right-handed dribble. Flips it under his hand over to Javion May. Around the world to Demarcus Lampley for three. This one isn't there. Poked up into the air. Lampley went down. There was no penalty, no foul on that one. And going back the other way, Trey McGowan's, and the ball goes out of bounds. 26 seconds on the shot clock, 17.49 to go here in the first half as the Bearcats leading three to nothing. So Nebraska set to inbound this one just under their own rim in between the K and the A of the Nebraska logo on the baseline. It's Burge Jr. High pass goes all the way up top to Derek Walker. The junior forward, Walker, back over to the right wing, Verge Jr., double teamed as the Bearcats trying to step up. JV on May, pesky defense, a little too pesky as he'll be called for his first foul. We'll see if that is the official call. It is on JV on May. That's his first personal. So JV on May with his first personal and the second team foul for the Bearcats. 3 0, Nebraska leads. 17 39 to go here in the first half. And now a travel and a turnover by the Cornhuskers. As Derek Walker took a little bit too many steps there. And another turnover here for Nebraska. I believe already their second turnover of this ballgame. Sam Houston has came out cold 0 for 6 from the field. They've had several offensive rebounds, but have not been able to drop it in. Here's Dante Powers with the left-handed crossover dribble back at the top of the arc. Finds Tristan Ipe from the right elbow inside the paint. Now flip it over to Savion Flag, left wing. He's guarded by one Ipe high screen. Flag trying to roll around it. Now a chest pass. Goes to Dante Powers from three. Bam! He nailed it, baby! Dante Powers from downtown, and the Bearcats have tied it at three apiece. As Nebraska will bring it into the front court from left to right. Working a high screen, trying to find inside. Still back up, and here's a right-handed dribble by Verge Jr. As he's outside the paint, he'll take an awkward floater, and it's good. Boy, he turned around 360 degrees from that right elbow and dropped it in. Cornhuskers regain the lead 5-3. 16.54 to go here in the first half. Dante Powers has it on the H of the Huskers logo on his side of the court on the left side. Over the left wing, JB on May. Chest pass goes to Ipe at the top. Ipe slings it down low. Dante Powers not able to hold on to it, and it's out of bounds. It was a good look by Tristan Ipe. And Dante Powers just not able to hold on to it. He was trying to cut across back there on the baseline on the right side of the rim. 5-3, Nebraska lead. 16.34 to go here. In the first half of play on the road in Nebraska. As Verge Jr. guarded by Dante Powers on the near side, moving from left to right now at the top of the three-point line. Quick bounce pass goes over to Mayen. Mayen takes a three, rolls in and out. Not there. He's missed a couple of them from that same spot. Here come the Bearcats quickly. It's Dante Powers. Thought about a three. Flag, left wing three. This one off the back of the rim. It won't fall. And the rebound to Nebraska. Pushing it is Trey McGowan's. He'll go one on two. Now swings it over near the left corner into the hands of Verge Jr. And this ball may have been knocked out of bounds. There was a whistle. We'll see if there was a foul on the play. I think it may have just went out of bounds. And so with 23 seconds remaining on the shot clock, 16.01 to go here in the first half, Nebraska will inbound, holding on to a 5-3 advantage as we are almost four minutes into this contest. Here's the pass to Verge Jr. on the left wing. Back over to the corner, Mayen. He'll step, takes a three. This one back off the rim. No good. High rebound to Ipe as he comes down hard. And we may have had a pushing foul there against Nebraska. That is going to be the call. 
see who that was called on. It was on the Cornhuskers, and we'll take it to our very first timeout. We'll take this break for 60 seconds. The foul was on Derek Walker, his first personal, the first team foul. We'll be back in 60 seconds from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Hi there, this is Glenn Edwards. Allow me to share the Wiesner experience with you. You know, what's that, you might say? Well, the Wiesner experience is being treated like family when you're buying a new car or truck. The Wiesner experience is when your expectations are not only met, but they are exceeded. The Wiesner experience is why customers go back year after year for all of their vehicle needs. Now, I've had the Wiesner experience both in the showroom and in the service department, and I know I will again. And you can too. So go have your own Wiesner experience. You'll be glad you did. That's Wiesner of Huntsville. The Bearcat Pavilion at Bauer Stadium is a new and exciting place to enjoy Bearcat football. Fans will find Smokin' Sammy's Barbecue, sodas, beer and wine, and a number of other food options from atop the southwest corner overlooking all of the action at Bauer Stadium. Bearcat Pavilion can be reserved on game days for pregame and or postgame private functions and may also be reserved for private events throughout the year. For more information about Bearcat Pavilion at Bauer Stadium, call 936-294-2701. Back at it, friends. Rob Hip from Pinnacle Bank Arena in Nebraska. Thanks for joining us as the Bearcats trailing the Huskers 5-3, 15-54 remaining here in the first half. Some messages already coming in on our social media feeds. Patsy Ann Reed joining us on the Facebook in the booth, see, in the, in the booth feed, cheering on the Bearcats, saying show our FBS strength tonight. Appreciate you, Patsy Ann. Also, our good friend Jonathan Knobloch joining us, saying let's go, Bearcats, get the win. Steve Ricks, our director of operations at the flagship, he's also chiming in. Appreciate you. Lisa Woolley saying, eat them up, cats. And our good friend and the public address announcer at football and also basketball back at Johnson Coliseum, Mr. Quentin Baylor saying, hoping for a big road win tonight. Bill Rust is joining us from Raymore, Missouri. Appreciate you, Bill. Also, Roger Gerard cheering on the Bearcats. Our good buddy, Brian Carroll saying have a good call and eat them up cats and also dave richardson from houston texas if you got a shout out send them to us on the social media feeds you can also text us if you're listening over the fm airwaves on 1017 you can text us at 512-522-9105 again that number 512-522-9105 dante powers is the only score for sam houston shooting cold here one of eight to start this game it's only 12.5%. They are 1 of 5 from downtown thanks to that one three-pointer by Dante Powers earlier. All starters remain on the court even after that timeout. It's Savion Flag, Javon May, uh, Javion May, Tristan Ipe, Dante Powers, and Lampley out there. Verge Jr., May and Walker, and both the McGowan's brothers out there for Nebraska. As this one poked away from Dante Powers, but he's able to hold on to it. He'll find Demarcus Lampley high up on the left wing. Now the chest pass goes over. Here's Ipe, long shot from just inside the top of the arc, and it's not there, and we've got a foul against Sam Houston, a little pushing, blocking foul called there against the Bearcats. So Savion Flag will pick up his first personal. It is the third team foul for the Bearcats. Again, trailing 5-3, to 15-38 to go here in the first half of play. And Sam Houston showing some backcourt pressure here with two in the back. Nebraska trying to work out of it. It's Verge Jr. He'll bring it on the far side from left to right, guarded up top by Dante Powers. As Verge Jr. goes down over to the right elbow into the hands of Derek Walker. Walker trying to back up on Ipe from outside the semicircle from the right side. Turnaround jumper. That's good. Derek Walker, a six foot nine junior, up against the six foot six junior Ipe. Bearcats back with it. Savion Flag gets it stolen. For a moment, it was a two-on-one. Now here's a one-on-two. The shot is missed off the right side. And Javion May was trying to fight for it. And they're going to call a foul there on a reach-in on May. So a tough break for the Bearcats as Javion May will pick up his second personal. That's already the fourth team foul for Sam Houston. Bearcats are scoreless over the last two minutes, 15 seconds. Only one of nine from the field. Nebraska one of four from downtown. So Javion May will head over to the bench for the first time tonight and checking in for the first time, the 5'10 junior guard, Jaden Ray. Jaden in the previous contest, four points. He is a very fast young man. Good to have that speed out there that we lost with Bryce Monroe, who is no longer with the team this year. Here's a jump shot on the inbound. That shot won't fall for Nebraska. Jaden Ray with the rebound. 
Actually, it was DeMarcus Lampley. Goes back to Jaden Ray. Jaden brings it across the half-court logo. Working a left-handed dribble on the left wing. Two up top for Sam Houston. Ray still has it. Finds Savion Flag at the top of the three-point line. The left-handed dribble. Dumps it off. Lampley thought about a three from the left wing. Now the bounce pass goes to Dante Powers. Rotates over right wing. Here's Jaden Ray. Way out there. He'll find Ipe. Ipe goes over. Savion Flag from the left baseline. He'll flip it all the way back out top around the world from Powers to Jaden Ray. This three-point shot won't fall from the right side. Good ball movement. Ray not able to knock it down, though. And here's Nebraska coming back from left to right. Slinging, zinging his way inside as Verge Jr. Shot not there. Rebound, Dante Powers. Powers wanting to run here with one on two. He'll step back, though, and finds Jaden Ray. Jaden Ray, a left-handed pass, goes to Dante Powers. Powers inside traffic, loses the ball. Ipe there, though, to pick it up uh, at the top of the three-point line. Back over to Dante Powers, crossover dribble. One-on-one, -on -one, trying to move inside. The ball is poked away several times. Power able to hold on to it. Down to three on the shot, actually eight on the shot clock. As Savion Flag has it. He'll take a step back, three, bam! Savion Flag nailed it from downtown. The Bearcats trailing by only one, seven to six, with 14 to go. Here's a three back the other way from Nebraska. This shot won't fall. Demarcus Lampley has the rebound. The Bearcats will move it from right to left. Dante Powers out on the left wing. Goes up top over to Jaden Ray, now to the right side, back over to Lampley, back to Ray, swings in to Ipe from the semicircle, back up top, Savion Flag working his way inside, flips it up, the shot falls, but it may have been before. We'll see if it's an and one. We'll see if they count that as an and one, as Savion Flag was from the three-point line, started to work his way inside the paint, flipped it up on the right side, and a whistle was blown. McGowan's with the foul. And they are going to say it was not in the act of shooting. So tough break there as we'll have substitution on the court as well for Sam Houston as Tristan Ipe checked out. Kean Scroggins in the game now, the six foot seven freshman forward. Ball into the hands of Savion Flag on the inbound. Jaden Ray able to corral it on the left wing. Back up top we go to Dante Powers. High screen, Scroggins trying to go on the pick and roll. Powers, though, able to hold on to it. Back over to Jaden Ray. Works from inside the paint. Flips this up left side. It won't roll in. And unfortunately there for Jaden Ray, it's a charge. Jaden Ray a little too aggressive on that play. And that is the first personal foul on Jaden Ray. And the 15th foul on the Bearcats. Turnover credited there also to Jaden Ray. Bearcats only trailing by one here, seven to six, with 12.59 to go in the first half. As Verge Jr. has it in the backcourt, guarded by Ray from left to right. Across center court we go. Verge throws it up right side. The shot's not there. Rebound, Kean Scroggins. Dante Powers quickly back from right to left. Inside the semicircle, it's blocked, and it goes out of bounds. Boy, a big block there on that play by Wilhelm Breidenbach as he put a hand up. The ball goes out of bounds. Sam Houston will have it, though. 23 seconds on the shot clock. 12.41 to go here in the first half. Bearcats trailing 7-6. Substitution on the court as Burge Jr. will head over to the bench. And checking back in is Trey McGowans. He is a 6'4 junior guard. Jaden Ray to inbound. Finds Savion Flag near the left elbow. Inside the red paint. Flips it up right side. Rolls around, baby. It's good for Savion Flag. And the Bearcats take the first lead of the night, 8-7 to seven with 12.36 to go here in the first half. As Nebraska back to the right side, flips up a shot here. Trey McGowan's, it's no good. Scroggins was trying to haul in the rebound, and it just bounced out of his reach. He'll get a friendly pat on the back from Savion Flag. So on the court for your Bearcats, Jaron Cook checked in a few moments ago. So Jaron Cook is out there alongside Jaden Ray, Kean Scroggins, Dante Powers, and Savion Flag. So checking back into the game, Keon Edwards. Actually checking in for the first time tonight for Nebraska. So CJ Wilcher is out, Keon Edwards is in. 12-17 to go, Bearcats leading 8-7. And we're going to have another substitution here for Sam Houston. The officials are going to let, I believe it's Damon Nicholas Jr. come in. So Damon Nicholas Jr. will come into the ball game for Dante Powers. He'll get a high five on the right hand as Powers will head back over to the bench on the right side. And that'll take us to a timeout. We'll go ahead and call it a media timeout. We'll be back in 60 seconds from Ben Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. 
Tim Houston Bearcats are national champions. Don't miss the excitement of Bearcat football. Season tickets and single game seats still available. Call the Bearcat ticket office at 936-294-1729 or go online at gobearcats.com forward slash tickets. Enjoy a great round of golf at the Bearcat Course, formerly Raven Nest. Conveniently located on the southbound side of 45 in Huntsville, the Bearcat Course offers award-winning value with special rates for alumni, faculty, staff, and students of Sam Houston State University. Memberships are available for as low as $139 per month that include unlimited greens fees and cart fees for the whole family. Visit the golf shop to get fitted for equipment and for the full stock of Sam Houston State University logoed men's and women's apparel. Let's play golf at the all-new Bearcat Course in Huntsville. Welcome back, friends. Rob Pimp from Pinnacle Bank Arena in Lincoln, Nebraska. Sam Houston men's basketball leading the Cornhuskers 8-7, 12-16 to go in the first half. The Huskers will have it to inbound here on the right side on their own side of the court. As Bryce McGowan, he'll jack up a long three. This shot's no good. Ken Scroggins with another rebound way out there near the right wing. Jaden Ray will bring it into the front court for the Bearcats from right to left. Guarded up top by one is Bryce McGowan's high screen Scroggins as Ray trying to work from the left side. He'll quickly chest pass over to Damon Nicholas Jr. to Savion Flag down to Kean Scroggins on the right side. Back over to Savion Flag. Flag trying to work inside and he turns it over. He is stripped. Quickly back the other way, Bryce McGowan's one on two. The shot's no good and a foul here. That may be against Jaron Cook. Bearcats with 16 fouls. We'll see who this one is called on. So it is on Jaron Cook. Jaron Cook will pick up his first personal and the 16th foul, and Sam Houston will call a timeout. We'll go ahead and keep things right here. Should only be a 30-second timeout. Nebraska has went scoreless in the last three minutes, 33 seconds. Only one of their last nine shots, one of six from downtown. The Bearcats on a 5-0 run of the last three minutes and 33 seconds. Leading score for Sam Houston is Savion Flag. Really, it's only been him and Dante Power. Savion is two of five from the field. One of those is a three-pointer. And also, Dante Power's one of four. One of those shots was a three-pointer as he's one of two. The Bearcats, though, they're only shooting three of 13, 23%, and two of seven from downtown for Nebraska. They have been out-rebounded. That's something that we talk about so much. The Bearcats have to find a way to out-rebound teams, do a much better job of that this season. Well, how about this against a high major team? 13 rebounds for Sam Houston, only six to start this game. Four of those boards for the Bearcats on the offensive side. Nebraska has no offensive rebounds yet. The Bearcats with one assist. They have turned it over five times, though, so far. They've scored three points down inside or two points down in the paint with six fouls again. And each team has had the ball 14 times to start this game as we're still in a timeout. More folks joining us in the booth. Angie Banks is actually at the game tonight. That is Kian Scroggins' mother. She's sending us a message. She is here at Pinnacle Bank Arena. Good to hear from you, Angie. And again, Bill Russ joining us. Janice Young is listening in tonight. We appreciate you, Janice. How about our good buddy Ronnie Snow and also Brian and Nicholas. He's cheering on Damon and Nicholas Jr. It's always a joy and honor to bring you this coverage. Sam Houston trying to come out strong this season. They were ranked number seven in the coming into the season in the WAC preseason poll. I've talked to several folks. I don't get a lot of opinion, but I said this team, in my opinion, is a lot better than a seventh ranked coming into this season. And so we'll see how things work out. We talk a lot about Savion Flag, the graduate transfer from Texas A&M. This young man put up 20 points in his Bearcat debut on Wednesday night in that victory. And we'll get back to action here from Pinnacle. There was a foul a little bit earlier by Jaron Cook. It was in the act of shooting, and for the first time tonight, we'll have a team shooting free throws. It took us almost 10 minutes to get there. An opportunity here for Nebraska to regain the lead. They're trailing eight to seven. At the line, shooting two is Bryce McGowans. He is a six foot seven freshman guard. First one from the right hand, good at the bottom of the net. I'll have one more here on the court is Savion Flag, Damon Nicholas Jr., Jaden Ray, Jared Cook, and Ken Scroggins for the Bearcats. Here's a second free throw for Bryce McGowns. Made the first, second one no good. We are still tied at eight. Ken Scroggins hauls in the rebound back to Jaden Ray. All alone in the backcourt, now to the front court finds Tristan Ipe. Ipe, right-handed dribble, hands it off over to Nicholas Jr. Now here's Cook. Cook trying to work from the top of the arc. He'll pass back over to Ipe. Ipe, quick right-handed chest pass goes to Jaden Ray, and Jaden Ray is fouled. A little bumping tic-tac foul by Keon Edwards. 
That is his first personal and the third team foul by the Huskers. So the breath mint's already coming out here earlier on the tic-tac. As substitution on the court, C.J. Wilcher back into the ball game. Bearcats have it here. Eight apiece, we're tied, 11.25 to go in the first half. Jaden Ray, right-handed wing, right-handed dribble over the right wing, finds Cook for three, like the stove, hits Jaron Cook from downtown. And the Bearcats lead him by three. As Nebraska will bring it back over to the right side. Ball into the hands on the right wing, trying to throw it up high to Keon Edwards down in the paint, shot is Knocked away, and the Bearcats have it. It's another turnover. Sam Houston on the far side, moving from right to left. Ray with the right-handed dribble, now crosses it over to his left hand. Up top, high screen, Scroggins. Back over to Damon Nicholas, Jr. Working inside the paint, throws it up off the left side. Too soft there, Keon Scroggins almost had a rebound, couldn't hold on to it, and Wiltshire came down with it for the Huskers. They're quickly moving from left to right, McGowan's. This is a three-pointer from the corner as he passed over to Walker. Shot was no good. And fighting for the rebound was Kasey Tomenagua, and he may have been fouled on that play. The ball was going in his direction. He was pushed out of bounds. I think they're just going to say it went out of bounds. I think some of the Husker fans here were upset that there was no foul called on that play. And Nebraska will inbound on their side of the court on their own baseline. High pass goes up top to Wilhelm Breidenbach, who checked in. Here's a three from the right wing. This one won't fall for Tome Nagua. And the Bearcats back with it. Sam Houston holds on to a three-point advantage, 11 to 8, 10, 19 to go here in the first half. His Ray has it for Sam Houston. Pass over to Nicholas. Nicholas from the right wing. He'll throw it over his left shoulder. Jaron Cook downtown again this time. It just drops dead off the back of the glass and the rim. But there was a foul on this play. It was not in the act of shooting that three. Trying to see who that foul was on. It definitely was on a Nebraska player. And we'll have that here in just a few moments. I'm waiting on it to show up officially on the scoreboard here at the arena. Substitutions there as Keon Edwards will head back over to the bench. Sam Houston will inbound here. It was a foul on uh, Keon Edwards. Bearcats have it, it's Kean Scroggins trying to work in the paint, throws up a hard shot, it's not there, but he's fouled, and Kean Scroggins will go to the line, shooting two. It is on Wilhelm Breidenbach, that'll pick up his first personal, and now the sixth team foul, actually the fifth team foul for Nebraska, but that was in the act of shooting, so Kean Scroggins at the line here to shoot two. Love what I'm seeing from this young man this season, his mama's watching him, three of four, in the previous game from the charity stripe, makes the first one here. And the Bearcats extend their lead to four, 12 to eight, with 9.54 to go here in the first half. Ipe, Lampley, Ray, Cook, and Scroggins on the court. Here's Scroggins with the next free throw, makes them both. Kean Scroggins nails both the three, both the free throws. And the Bearcats holding comfortable here, a five point advantage as Nebraska brings it from left to right. And now a foul is called here. This is gonna go against Sam Houston away from the ball. Oh, it was actually right there on the ball. It was Dante Powers. So Dante Powers picking up his second personal foul and that is, I believe, the seventh team foul here by Sam Houston. So the Huskers are now in the bonus and a one and one here for number one, Alonzo Verge Jr. 7 of 9 in his debut on Tuesday night. 78% on the free throw night. Here's the 1-1. One and one. Won't fall in the rebound, Scroggins. By the way, Janice Young, his aunt, is also at the game. Good to hear from you, Janice. Dante Powers brings it from right to left. Crossover dribble back to the left wing. Now rotates back over to the right wing. Right-handed pass. It's Lampley. This one, light it up, baby. It's to Marcus Lampley from downtown. And the Bearcats on a scoring frenzy, an 8-0 run here in this game. Nebraska back the other way. They'll take a three. Well short. A rebound, Dante Powers, as he is held up, trying to go from right to left. And a foul up there all the way at the half-court line. Comes off the hands of Wilhelm Breidenbach. And that is 16 fouls now for Nebraska. So no clear path, of course. No active shooting. So Sam Houston should just inbound this. 
as Jaron Cook checks back into the ball game for the Bearcats. It is Cook, Ipe, Powers, Scroggins, and Lampley out there for your Bearcats. Birch Jr., Mayen, also Trey McGowans and Wilcher, and Breidenbach on the court for the Huskers. 9-16 to go in the first half. Bearcats leading by 8-16-8. Cook will inbound on the left side. Finds Dante Powers. Dante throws it over his right shoulder to Lampley, who had the three moments ago. Takes a jumper, rattles in and out. Scroggins pokes it up in the air, but it falls into the hands of Burge Jr. He wants to run on the far side from left to right. Flips this one from the left elbow just inside the paint, and that one won't fall, and a foul is called here against the Huskers as Lampley was going up for it. Now they're going to change it and say... It was out on Lampley. So maybe they overturned the foul call. We'll see here. I think they're just going to say it was out of bounds. Lampley looked like he was pushed from the back, but that's not going to get that call, unfortunately, for DeMarcus. And it was out of bounds on Lampley. So the Huskers will inbound on their own baseline, standing on the E of the Nebraska logo. High pass goes up top to Walker. Back over to the left wing. Now working inside is Burge. Flips it up from the right side inside the paint. Shot not there. E. Pay another Bearcat rebound. And here comes Sam Houston. It's Dante Powers on the near side from right to left. He'll go at the top of the three-point line. High screen, Scroggins. Rotates over to the left side. Another screen here by Scroggins. Powers still out there. Got a little bit of time here to shoot. Savion Flag, or actually Jaron Cook. He'll jack up a shot. This one won't fall. Fighting for it. Has his own rebound. Chasing it. Rolls. Shot's not there, but a blocking foul is called against the Huskers. What a heads-up play by Jaron Cook as he took the shot, missed it, followed up with it, stayed active. And he is rewarded. He'll go to the line, shooting two. That is the seventh team foul by Nebraska. That one, though, was in the act of shooting, I believe. So Jared Cook at the line to shoot two here. And the first free throws of the season for Cook. He'll bend his knee. Right-handed free throw. Rolls off, won't go. It bounced off the front, off the back, and then dropped off the front again. Checking back in, it is Bryce McGowans for the Huskers. Derek Walker, by the way, was the one with that foul. Alonzo Birch Jr. is out. Here's the next free throw. This one is good. So Jaron Cook splits the pair. The Bearcats extending their lead now, 17 to 8. Nebraska has not scored in the last three minutes, 16 seconds. They're only one of 14 on their last shots. They've got it though on the right side, trying to get back into this game. McGowan's at the top, guarded by Lampley as he'll work a left-handed dribble. Now picks it up, pass goes over to McGowan's. It's Trey McGowan's. As Kean Scroggins flipped that on him, now he'll rotate back down. Here's a three from the left wing. This shot isn't there. Scroggins didn't have the position. The turnaround jumper isn't good for Walker, but he was fouled and he'll go to the line shooting too. It's a good effort there down low by Kean Scroggins, just didn't have the position. And that allowed the ball to get back into the hands of Walker. And he's got two free throws coming up. It's the first personal by Kean Scroggins and the eighth team foul by Sam Houston. 8.02 to go in the first half. And after a scoreless drought at 342, we'll see if Nebraska can break it. They do on the first free throw there by Derek Walker. So Scroggins will head over to the bench. He'll get a high five from several of his teammates. And back in is Savion Flag for the Bearcats. He'll stand down in the key alongside Jaron Cook, Demarcus Lampley, and Tristan Ipe. Here's the free throw. The second one is good as well by Derek Walker. So both free throws are good. Bearcats, though, on a 14-2 run over the last seven minutes, but they've only made one of their last five. So we'll see if they can get back into some life here. As the inbound from Savion Flag to Dante Powers in the backcourt, now brings it into the front court at the bottom of the Huskers logo. Bounce pass at the top for Ipe. Turnaround jumper, yes, Tristan Ipe. As he made it look easy just inside the three-point line. Bearcats 19, Nebraska 10, 7.50 to go in the first half. The Huskers have it back on the right side. Off the right side of the glass, that one rolls in and good for Bryce McGowns. Bearcats will try to keep their run going here. 16 to three run over the last 7.27. 7.50 to go here in the first half. Bearcats leading here. It's a three-pointer from the right wing. Buried it down there for Sam Houston. And uh, I believe 
I didn't see the number down there. It may have been Savion Flag, and I believe that's who it was. Savion Flag with three. Actually, yeah, it was Flag. Here comes Nebraska back the other way. A foul called here. We'll see if that was before the shot. Wouldn't matter anyways as the Bearcats have already put Nebraska in the bonus. It's a foul on Dante Powers. And I believe his third personal. So we'll step aside. We will take a break. We'll be back in 60 seconds from Ben Wagner. This is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. Season tickets are on sale for 2021-22 basketball season. Season tickets start as low as $99. One price gets you both men's and women's Bearcat basketball. Call 936-294-1729 or go online at gobearcats.com slash tickets to secure your seat today. The Bearcat Pavilion at Bowers Stadium is a new and exciting place to enjoy Bearcat football. Fans will find Smokin' Sammy's Barbecue, sodas, beer and wine, and a number of other food options from atop the southwest corner overlooking all of the action at Bowers Stadium. The Bearcat Pavilion can be reserved on game days for pregame and or postgame private functions and may also be reserved for private events throughout the year. For more information about Bearcat Pavilion at Bowers Stadium, call 936-294-2701. Back at it, friends. Rob Hip here from Pinnacle Bank Arena in Lincoln, Nebraska. Sam Houston men's basketball leading the Huskers 22 to 12. We'll pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. 101.7 KSAM is KSAM Huntsville, and you're listening to the Bearcat Sports Network. And welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us here today as. Sam Houston trying to upset Nebraska as well. Nebraska lost their opener on Tuesday night. It was a thrilling game. If you were a Western Illinois fan, 75 to 74 as they came back and won that game. Nebraska had a little bit of a run on Tuesday night, but they couldn't hold on. And the final six seconds, a three-pointer secured that victory for Western Illinois. And we thought maybe we'd see Nebraska come out here they got a pretty packed house at Pinnacle Bank Arena, but so far tonight, Sam Houston has been taking care of business. They have out-rebounded Nebraska 22-11. Six on the offensive side, 14 defensive rebounds, three assists. They've turned it over five times, but a lot of those turnovers came early. Sam Houston is starting to tighten things up. At one point, though, the Bearcats were 0 for 8 to start this game from the field. They've now turned that around. They're now 7 of 21 you got to believe that those numbers will start working into your favor if you can keep things going, and the Bearcats have done just that. So we'll get back into action here from Lincoln as two free throws coming up here after the... Free throws coming up here after the Dante Powers foul moments ago. Trey McGowan's. It's actually a one-and-one. One. The first one is on its way. No good. And the rebound by Ipe. Free throws not falling for Nebraska. Now three of six, the Bearcats will bring it from right to left. It is Jaden Ray working a left-handed dribble, bounces it down over to Ipe near the left elbow, and the ball is kicked out of bounds. It will stay with Sam Houston with 15 seconds on the shot clock. 6.47 to go here in the first half. As Ray will inbound here on his own baseline. Over to Savion Flag. Turnaround jumper won't drop as he took it from just outside the left elbow. The rebound goes to Bryce McGowan's. Quick chest pass down from the baseline. Working down low is Trey McGowan's, the brother. And now back over as Sam Houston trying to knock it out of bounds. A great job there by Jaron Cook as he deflected a pass that was going into the direction of C.J. Wilcher. 15 on the shot clock. Nebraska trailing 22 to 12. 6.42 to go here in the first half. The Huskers have it on the right side, inbounding on the sideline. Goes over to Trey McGowan's. As he will throw a dart to the left corner. And the shot is no good as Latin Mayan stepped out of bounds. Coach Hooten having a talk with Jaden Ray, directing his players. Savion Flag will inbound over to Jaden Ray. So Ray will take it just in front of the Bearcat bench. Savion Flag back there with him. Now they'll move into the front court. Ray has it. Right-handed dribble. Crosses back over to his left hand to the left wing. Here's DeMarcus Lampley as he will backpedal his way from the right wing. He takes a three-pointer. This one will not drop. He made one earlier. Couldn't turn on the light that time. And the rebound into the hands of Burge Jr. for Nebraska. 
Now working it down is Bryce McGowan. He'll take a long two-point jumper from about 15. That shot not there. Fighting for the rebound. It's Savion Flag. The whistles here will stop it as... Boy, did he step out? Or was there a foul there? I believe maybe that ball went out of bounds. It did. It went out of bounds off of Sam Houston. Unfortunate there. Savion Flag was fighting for it. I like the aggressiveness by Flag, but it went out of bounds, and the Huskers will inbound on the sideline on the right side on their own side. Here's Bird Jr. inside the paint as this one is poked out of bounds. I believe Lampley may have got a reach there and knocked it away. 16 on the shot clock, 22 to 12. Nebraska trailing, 5.53 to go here in the first half. Here's the inbound pass, flip it up off the left side, and acrobatic move by Burge falls in. That's his fourth point of the ball game. They have actually been McGowan's there. And so that is his sixth point. In any case, 22 to 14, Bearcats back with it. Jaden Ray has it on the left side. They wanted to travel, not going to get the call. Epe has it. He's double teamed back over to Ray. Ray trying to work around that right wing. Now he'll go inside. The ball's poked away and it's turned over. It's a good poke there inside as this one is slammed down by Eduardo Andre. Andre poked it away and then came back, threw it in. The Bearcats have not scored in 147, and Nebraska finding a little bit of life here with that slam moments ago. 22 to 16, Bearcats up front, 5-12 to go in the first half. We'll take 30 seconds from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. The Bearcat Pavilion at Bowers Stadium is a new and exciting place to enjoy Bearcat football. Fans will find Smokin' Sammy's Barbecue, sodas, beer and wine, and a number of other food options from atop the southwest corner overlooking all of the action at Bowers Stadium. The Bearcat Pavilion can be reserved on game days for pregame and or postgame private functions and may also be reserved for private events throughout the year. For more information about Bearcat Pavilion at Bowers Stadium, call 936-294-2701. Back at it for Pinnacle Bank, Jim Day Arena, Rob Hip. Lincoln, Nebraska tonight is the Bearcats on the road, game number two of the season in a high major in the Big Ten, and the Bearcats holding on to a 22-16 advantage with 5-12 to go. Sam Houston will inbound the ball to start here, moving from right to left into the hands of Jaden Ray. He'll find Jaron Cook up top to Savion Flag. Flag from the right wing, handoff goes over to... Lampley now inside, trying to find Epe, and it was knocked away in another turnover here by Sam Houston. Mayen has it near the right corner, backing his way inside over the head pass to Wilcher, and now back up top to Verge. Verge guarded by Jaden Ray. As he tries to shake this one over to Mayen. Mayen inside, flip this one back up over to the left wing from the semicircle, spinning around McGowan's, throws up an acrobatic shot, and somehow that one fell in. Boy, he said, have mercy, and the ball said, yes, sir, and dropped right through the bed. 22 to 18. Bearcats still up front. It's a 6-0 run, though, by Nebraska. Sam Houston trying to find it. They haven't scored in three minutes. Jaron Cook on the left wing, high screen, Epe. Back over to Demarcus Lampley. Lampley, quick pass back up top to Jaron Cook, right wing. It is Ray, had it wide open, goaltend, and Jaden Ray will get the two points. It was on the way down, and Mayen knocked it back up. That's a goal, 10, big fella. And the Bearcats get two points on that one from Jaden Ray. It's 24 to 18. Bearcats leading 432 to go. Actually down to 406 now as the clock jumped here in the first half. The Huskers inbounding on their own side, moving from left to right. Jaden Ray in the backcourt, guarding Verge. Burge trying to push off with the right arm over to the left elbow. He'll find McGowan's. McGowan's as the Epe tried to pick him up. McGowan still has it. It's Bryce McGowan's. Goes back over to Burge Jr. He's way out there near the half court. Now he moves inside. Step back jumper for three. Well short. Rebound Savion Flag. Flag wanting to direct traffic here, slow things up and set up a play. Coach Hooten talking things over with his team. Flag on the far side. Yellow sneakers moving from right to left. Working a left-handed dribble, trying to swing around. Now he'll find Demarcus Lampley on the left wing. This one is poked out of bounds by Bryce McGowan. With 15 on the shot clock. And we've got a timeout on the floor. And we'll take it for a media timeout. We'll be back in 60 seconds from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. 
Curious about what real estate agents enjoy the most? It's about reminding our clients that dreams really do come true. Remax is the number one real estate company nationwide. Remax Prime Properties is a locally owned family business in Huntsville. Need a realtor knowledgeable in our area? Call one of our experienced agents and let us guide you home. Remax Prime Properties is located at 1215 Financial Plaza, Huntsville, Texas, and is a proud partner of SHSU Athletics. Eat them up, cats. Join the Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. For only $35 a year, your membership helps provide scholarship assistance, plus networking, a travel program, discounts on home and auto insurance, car rentals, event tickets, and much more. Connect with your Bearcat pride and spirit by joining the Alumni Association. Go online, alumni.shsu.edu. As a member, you can be a part of something bigger. Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. Join today. Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip from Lincoln, Nebraska. The Bearcats holding on 24-18 versus the Cornhuskers with 3.27 to go in the first half. Sam Houston, boy, they have been a rebounding machine through the first two games of the season. And even more impressive here tonight, doing it against a high major team in Nebraska in the Big Ten. 23 boards, only 13 for Nebraska. Sam Houston has hauled in six off the offense, 17 on the defense. They've still got to do a better job, better job though, distributing the ball. Only three assists in this game, and they've turned it over eight times. They had a nice spurt there for a while where they didn't turn it over for several minutes. For Nebraska, they have made three of their last four. They're only one of 11 from downtown, though. Bryce McGowan's, he has made three of his last four shots. So we're going to keep our eye on that young man as he had 25 points in their opener on Tuesday night. Also, Alonzo Verge Jr. with 25. So those are the two. Verge Jr. in this game only two points, but McGowan's has 10. Walker has four, and Andre has two. And for the Bearcats, it has been a pretty even attack again tonight. Savion Flag with eight, Ipe with two, Powers with three, Lampley with three. Ray with two, and Cook with four, and Scroggins with two. So Javion May and Nicholas are the only two that haven't scored. Bearcats will inbound it here on the left side. They've got it on their side of the court. As Ray has it, left-handed dribble, now picks it up, goes over to Lampley from the top. Left wing three, Savion flag, bam! There it is, raise the flag, Savion from downtown! And the Bearcats lead 27 to 18. As the Huskers will bring it back over to the right side, we've got a whistle and a foul here against Sam Houston. That's called on Damon Nicholas Jr. That's his first personal and the 10th team foul. So that will put Nebraska in the double bonus. They will shoot two the rest of this 306. Shooting those free throws is Trey McGowan's. Three for six from the charity stripe in the home opener. And so far, he is 0 for 1 here today. Now make it 0 for 2. Bearcats hanging tough here, friends. 27 to 18, 306 to go in the first half. It's actually Wilcher shooting the free throws. Missed the first one. Here's the second one. He makes that one. Wilcher, by the way, one of two entering this ball game. And it's 27 to 18. Sam Houston with three minutes to go. Ray has it. Hand off over to Lampley on the right wing. Chest pass back over. Nice pass from Ray inside to Ipe. Here's the ball movement. Savion Flag was glancing his way down in the paint and was not able to lay it up. It was excellent ball movement, though. Here is Nebraska. They traveled and turned it over. Trey McGowns was trying to do too much as he took an extra step down in the paint just in front of the Big Ten logo. And Alonzo Verge Jr. will check back into the game for the Huskers. Ray will take the inbound pass from Savion Flag in the backcourt, moving it from right to left is Ray. Over to the right wing, spins the ball from his right hand to his left hand, drop pass over to Nicholas Jr. He'll go around the world, floats this one up, right side, high off the glass, it's not there. Ipe rebound, Ray for three, this one won't fall. Ipe with another offensive board, but Ray not able to connect from downtown. And the Huskers will move from left to right. Two to go here in the first half. 2-17, now a reach-in foul called against Sam Houston. This one's going to go on Nicholas Jr. Damon Nicholas Jr. will pick up his second personal, and 
course, in the double bonus. Two free throws coming up here for the Huskers. It's Bryce McGowan. He's a good free throw shooter. This is a young man that was 10 for 12 from the free throw line in the home opener. And that loss on Tuesday night. Here's the first free throw from the right hand. This one bounces around and it won't fall in. Cam Scroggins will check back into the ball game for the Bearcats. Damon Nicholas Jr. heads over to the bench. He'll get a high five from head coach Hoot and a standing ovation from all of his teammates and assistant coaches. First free throw was missed by McGowan's. Here's the second one from the right hand. This one is good. It's 27 to 20. Bearcats by seven. With two minutes to go here in the first half, Ray will bring it into the front court across the logo at the timeline. Over to Savion Flag, swings it to the right side to Ipe. Crossover dribble inside the paint, floats it up. This one won't fall. And a rebound on the fingertips of Wiltshire. He's alone in the backcourt. He'll move it quickly into the front court from left to right. Now a handoff pass goes to Tomiyangwa. Back into the hands of Birch Jr. This one flipped over, finds his teammate. It's blocked by Ipe. Shot up, no good. The first one was blocked, the second one was a foul. Ipe got a nasty hand up there on Eduardo Andre, but he'll go to the line shooting two. And they're actually going to call Scroggins with the foul. Ipe had the block. Scroggins on the second attempt with the foul. It looked like Ipe was the one down there. And two free throws coming up here for the Huskers. The first one rattles in and good for Eduardo Andre. Scroggins will head back over the bench and checking in for the first time tonight. It is Kuba Krawowski, the seven foot two senior center here for Sam Houston out of Warsaw, Poland. Second free throw for the Huskers on the way. This one is good at the bottom of the net for Andre. It is 27 to 22. Bearcats by five. They haven't scored in the last minute 30. Got to find some life here as we're down to a minute to go. Ray has it. Handoff goes to Lampley. Lampley trying to find Kowalski, and they turn it over. It's two on one. Bounce pass, left side, slam it down, and one. Boy, Wilcher found his teammate, Andre, and he slammed it down with a 40. It's not what you want to see with 124 to go here in the first half. Nebraska's starting to come alive here now. They've made four of their last five. We have a whistle and a timeout on the court. You can hear the crowd here at Pinnacle getting excited. We'll step aside and take 30 seconds from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. The Bearcat Pavilion at Bower Stadium is a new and exciting place to enjoy Bearcat football. Fans will find Smokin' Sammy's Barbecue, sodas, beer and wine, and a number of other food options from atop the southwest corner overlooking all of the action at Bower Stadium. The Bearcat Pavilion can be reserved on game days for pregame and or postgame private functions and may also be reserved for private events throughout the year. For more information about Bearcat Pavilion at Bower Stadium, call 936-294-2701. Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip from Pinnacle Bank Arena here in Lincoln, Nebraska. Thanks for joining us tonight. Sam Houston men's basketball leading Nebraska as it stands right now, 27 to 24. The foul is on Ipe. A dunk by Andre Eduardo moments ago. The assist from Birds Jr. And they are reviewing this one to see if there was possibly. It's hard to tell from here. We're way across from the scores table. Very hard to tell from here if they were looking to see if. Potentially uh, flagrant. I wouldn't suspect a flagrant, though. It was not a hard foul. Coach Hooten is getting a discussion. And they were just going back in to review this one. Friends, I'm not sure. We didn't get any explanation of what they were reviewing. They'll say that the two counted, and so an and one here for Andre after the dunk, and he misses it. It's 27 to 24. Sam Houston brings it from right to left. They've got the lead. Into the hands of Lampley on the right wing with 1.11 to go here in the first half. Lampley from downtown. This one rattles in and out. Kowalski could not get position there on Andre for the rebound, and it goes back to the Huskers. Down to one minute we go as the Huskers have it. Wilcher, he'll take a three. This one won't fall. Rebound by Savion Flag. 
The Bearcats still by three, 27 to 24. They should be able to get two shots off before the end of the half. Jaden Ray has it at the Huskers logo, now on the left side of his own side of the court. Savion flag for three, yes! Light it up and raise the flag. Savion does it again from downtown. He is now four of six, and the Bearcats trying to end it strong here in the first half. The Huskers from left to right. It's Verge at the top, looking for a teammate. Down to 17 seconds. There's about a five second differential. Here's a three. This one is buried by Bryce McGowan. The Bearcats can hold for the last shot here as Savion Flag has it. Hooten telling him to hurry and get down there, telling him to keep an eye on it. Savion Flag near the right wing, floats it with no time remaining. Good at the buzzer for Savion Flag. Oh, baby, what a shot! And the Bearcats will go in at halftime with the lead 32 to 27. We'll step aside for an extended break. Got an exciting halftime coming up as we'll go over the stats and more. Stay with us, friends, from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Sam Houston Bearcats are national champions. Don't miss the excitement of Bearcat football. Season tickets and single game seats still available. Call the Bearcat ticket office at 936-294-1729 or go online at gobearcats.com forward slash tickets. Season tickets are on sale for 2021-22 basketball season. Season tickets start as low as $99. One price gets you both men's and women's Bearcat basketball. Call 936-294-1729 or go online at gobearcats.com slash tickets to secure your seat today. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. For any of your shipping, faxing, copying, or notarizing needs, get on down to Pack and Ship. Big or small, they ship it all. Conveniently located right off 45 on Highway 30 next to Hobby Lobby. At Pack and Ship, there are no lines. They have a kind, experienced staff ready to help you. Pack and Ship, happily serving all residents of Walker County and the surrounding areas. Pack and Ship. For the best customer service and best deal on your new Ford, head to Bill Fick Ford in Huntsville, your noble headquarters. Thinking something sporty and great on gas? Check out the 2022 Ford Explorers and Expeditions. Don't see what you want on the lot? You can still get a no-pull deal on a special order with the assistance of your sales associate or just go to BillFickFord.com. Click order here and design your new Ford today. Built for you, by you. Bill Fick Ford, I-45 South in Huntsville. Join the Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. For only $35 a year, your membership helps provide scholarship assistance plus network a travel program, discounts on home and auto insurance, car rentals, event tickets, and much more. Connect with your Bearcat pride and spirit by joining the Alumni Association. Go online, alumni.shsu.edu. As a member, you can be a part of something bigger. The Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. Join today. Ticket Smarter is glad we are back to holding live events. If you are looking to buy tickets to the best sports, concerts, and theater events, all at the very best price, look no further than TicketSmarter.com or on the app. Buying tickets at Ticket Smarter will help support children in need. For every ticket transaction on Ticket Smarter, $1 will be donated to a children's charity. Ticket Smarter is proud to be the official ticketing partner of Bearcat Athletics. Ticket Smarter, a smarter way to buy tickets. Curious about what real estate agents enjoy the most? It's about reminding our clients that dreams really do come true. Remax is the number one real estate company nationwide. Remax Prime Properties is a locally owned family business in Huntsville. Need a realtor knowledgeable in our area? Call one of our experienced agents and let us guide you home. Remax Prime Properties is located at 1215 Financial Plaza, Huntsville, Texas, and is a proud partner of SHSU Athletics. Eat them up, cats. 
The Bearcat Pavilion at Bauer Stadium is a new and exciting place to enjoy Bearcat football. Fans will find Smokin' Sammy's Barbecue, sodas, beer and wine, and a number of other food options from atop the southwest corner overlooking all of the action at Bauer Stadium. The Bearcat Pavilion can be reserved on game days for pregame and or postgame private functions and may also be reserved for private events throughout the year. For more information about Bearcat Pavilion at Bauer Stadium, call 936-294-2701. Hi there, this is Glenn Edwards. Allow me to share the Wiesner experience with you. You know, what's that, you might say? Well, the Wiesner experience is being treated like family when you're buying a new car or truck. The Wiesner experience is when your expectations are not only met, but they are exceeded. The Wiesner experience is why customers go back year after year for all of their vehicle needs. Now, I've had the Wiesner experience both in the showroom and in the service department, and I know I will again. And you can too. So go have your own Wiesner experience. You'll be glad you did. That's Wiesner of Huntsville. 101.7 101.7 KSAM and the Bearcat Sports Network welcome you to the Bearcat Basketball Halftime Show. Now let's go back courtside with Rob Hip. Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip from Lincoln, Nebraska at Pinnacle Bank Arena. Bearcats leading Nebraska 32 to 27 here in this ball game, and Sam Houston has put on a show. Savion Flag with 16 points. We talk about this young man who is just going to be a force for this Bearcat team this season, and we'll go back to the flagship now as we've got Carlos Zimmerman with us. Carlos, a great start for Sam Houston against a very tough Big Ten opponent in Nebraska, man. This has been a good one so far. No, you're absolutely right, Rob. This has been so exciting so far. I mean, to go up into a Power Five's house, and then you're leading going into the half. It was a little bit shaky there at the end of that one, uh, that first half there, but flag, you said it, being a force so far for this Bearcat team. He had 20 points Wednesday night against Laterna, and like you said, he's got half the points for the Bearcats right now, looking really good through one half of basketball. Yeah, man, and you go back to that Laterno game on Wednesday, every player that checked into the game for Sam Houston scored, and it has been a similar situation here tonight Every player except three so far have scored. The only ones that aren't on the board yet with points, J.B. on May, Damon Nicholas Jr., and Kuba Kurwowski. But other than that, everybody that's touched the ball has scored. I like to see that type, and we saw it in the first game. I think this is a precedent for what we're going to see this season from this Bearcat team. And you said it earlier, Rob. Bearcats picked seventh in the WAC uh, preseason polls. And I I'm, I'm agree with you. You know, I'm not a very opinionated broadcaster as well, but... This team's playing up to a higher level than what a lot of people were expecting with the amount of competition that you have in the Western Athletic Conference. And this is showing here that these this, these Bearcats, they are keeping up with such a tough team in that. Now, granted, Nebraska, they've had their struggles. They have not been to the NCAA tournament since 2014. Before that, it was 1998. But you got to give them credit. They fight hard. They come in, and they play hard against, especially their other Big Ten opponents that they'll face later this year. Just... But to see this so far out of the Bearcats, not many people were expecting this, but this is a very good sight for sore eyes. Carlos, appreciate you back at our flagship doing great work. And I've got some calls from that first half uh, that we'll go through and play here in just a few moments. Again, Sam Houston leading 32 to 27. We've got about eight minutes or so before we get things back in. Here is some of those calls from the first half. We'll send it over now. Stay with us. Finds Tristan Ipe from the right elbow inside the paint. Now flip it over to Savion Flag, left wing. He's guarded by one. Ipe high screen. Flag trying to roll around it. Now a chest pass. Goes to Dante Powers from three. Bam! He nailed it, baby! Dante Powers from downtown. And the Bearcats have tied it at three apiece for junior guard. Jaden Ray to inbound. Finds Savion Flag near the left elbow. Inside the red paint. Flips it up right side. Rolls around, baby. It's good for Savion Flag. And the Bearcats take the first lead of the night, 8 to 7 with 12.36 to go here in the ball game. Bearcats have it here. Eight apiece, we're tied, 11.25 to go in the first half. Jaden Ray, right-handed ring, right-handed dribble over the right wing, finds Cook for three, light the stove, it's Jaron Cook from downtown. The game, good to hear from you, Janice. Dante Powers brings it from right to left. Crossover dribble back to the left wing. Now rotates back over to the right wing. Right-handed pass. It's Lampley. This one, light it up, baby. It's Demarcus Lampley from downtown. And the Bearcats on a scoring frenzy, an 8-0 run here in this game. 7-27, 7.50 to go here in the first half. Bearcats leading here. 
As a three-pointer from the right wing, buried it down there for Sam Houston. And uh, I believe, I didn't see the number down there. It may have been Savion Flag, and I believe that's who it was. Bearcats will inbound it here on the left side. They've got it on their side of the court. As Ray has it, left-handed dribble, now picks it up, goes over to Lampley from the top. Left wing three, Savion Flag, bam! There it is, raise the flag, Savion from downtown! A handoff pass goes to Tomiagua. Back into the hands of Birch Jr. This one flipped over, finds his teammate. It's blocked by Ipe. Shot up, no good. Get two shots off before the end of the half. Jaden Ray has it at the Huskers logo. Now on the left side at his own side of the court. Savion flag for three. Yes! Light it up and raise the flag. Savion does it again from downtown. He is now four of six. And the Bearcats trying to end it strong here in the first half. And get down there, telling him to keep an eye on it. Savion flag near the right wing, floats it with no time remaining. Good at the buzzer for Savion flag. Oh, baby, what a shot! And the Bearcats will go in at halftime with the lead 32 to 27. So that's just a little bit of the first half recap there for Sam Houston. Again, they lead the Cornhuskers on the road in Lincoln 32 to 27. We'll step aside, we'll take a brief break. When we come back, we'll have more stats. Stay with us, friends, from Ben Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Every life is unique. Some are filled with sports or music. Whatever memories you have, you can trust the hometown experts at Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home. I'm Greg Smith, owner of Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home, and we have planned and arranged thousands of services, each as unique as the life being celebrated. When it's time, you can trust us to help you and your family plan a remembrance to mirror a life well lived. We're Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home because every life deserves to be celebrated. You might know that State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has great service. She is your good neighbor after all. Did you know State Farm has surprisingly great rates too? Yep, along with good neighbor service, State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has surprisingly great rates for everyone in Huntsville and Walker County. So call State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes at 936-295-2686 for your surprisingly great rates today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Hi there, this is Glenn Edwards. Allow me to share the Wiesner experience with you. You know, what's that, you might say? Well, the Wiesner experience is being treated like family when you're buying a new car or truck. The Wiesner experience is when your expectations are not only met, but they are exceeded. The Wiesner experience is why customers go back year after year for all of their vehicle needs. Now, I've had the Wiesner experience both in the showroom and in the service department, and I know I will again. And you can too. So go have your own Wiesner experience. You'll be glad you did. That's Wiesner of Huntsville. Welcome back, friends. Uh, Rob Hip live tonight from Lincoln, Nebraska at Pinnacle Bank Arena. 32 to 27, the Bearcats leading Nebraska as we are about four minutes or so to go before we get things going again in the second half of play. We'll go over team stats here for Sam Houston. Starting out in this ball game again, leading 32 to 27. They were 11 of 32 from the field, shooting 34% in the first half, seven of 17 from downtown. Many of those coming from Savion Flag. We'll get to more of him in a moment. The Bearcats three of four from the free throw line, 26 rebounds, five assists. They had a steal and a block, also 13 total fouls, nine turnovers in that first half of play. For the home team, Nebraska, the Cornhuskers with 27 points, trailing by five. They shot nine of 28 from the field, 32%. So just a little bit less than Sam Houston and a little bit less shots as well. They were only two of 13 from three-point land, shooting 15%, seven of 13. 53% from the free throw line. So they're getting to the free throw line, just not able to make up. But of course, a lot of those coming because Sam Houston got into foul trouble a little bit early and that sent Nebraska to the line more often than not. They had five assists and five steals, two blocks, seven total fouls and five turnovers in that first half of play. We'll step aside and take a quick break. When we come back, we'll look at individual stats and we'll have the start of the second half. The Bearcats lead 32 to 27 at Sam Houston men's basketball on the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Every life is unique. 
Some are filled with sports or music. Whatever memories you have, you can trust the hometown experts at Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home. I'm Greg Smith, owner of Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home, and we have planned and arranged thousands of services, each as unique as the life being celebrated. When it's time, you can trust us to help you and your family plan a remembrance to mirror a life well lived. We're Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home because every life deserves to be celebrated. You might know that State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has great service. She is your good neighbor after all. Did you know State Farm has surprisingly great rates too? Yep. Along with good neighbor service, State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has surprisingly great rates for everyone in Huntsville and Walker County. So call State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes at 936-295-2686 for your surprisingly great rates today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Hi there, this is Glenn Edwards. Allow me to share the Wiesner experience with you. You know, what's that, you might say? Well, the Wiesner experience is being treated like family when you're buying a new car or truck. The Wiesner experience is when your expectations are not only met, but they are exceeded. The Wiesner experience is why customers go back year after year for all of their vehicle needs. Now, I've had the Wiesner experience both in the showroom and in the service department, and I know I will again. And you can too. So go have your own Wiesner experience. You'll be glad you did. That's Wiesner of Huntsville. This has been the Bearcat Basketball Halftime Show. We'll be right back with the second half of tonight's game on the Bearcat Sports Network and 101.7 KSAM. Enjoy a great round of golf at the Bearcat Course, formerly Raven Nest. Conveniently located on the southbound side of 45 in Huntsville, the Bearcat Course offers award-winning value with special rates for alumni, faculty, staff, and students of Sam Houston State University. Memberships are available for as low as $139 per month that include unlimited greens fees and cart fees for the whole family. Visit the golf shop to get fitted for equipment and for the full stock of Sam Houston State University logoed men's and women's apparel. Let's play golf at the all-new Bearcat Course in Huntsville. Join the Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. For only $35 a year, your membership helps provide scholarship assistance, plus networking, a travel program, discounts on home and auto insurance, car rentals, event tickets, and much more. Connect with your Bearcat pride and spirit by joining the Alumni Association. Go online, alumni.shsu.edu. As a member, you can be a part of something bigger. The Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. Join today. Welcome back, friends, and a pleasant good evening. Sam Houston men's basketball returns on the Bearcats Sports Radio Network as we are moments away from getting started in the second half. Sam Houston leading 32-27 to on the road in Lincoln versus Nebraska. Leading score in that first half of play for Sam Houston. Savion Flagg was 16. The next closest score was Jaron Cook only with four. On the flip side for Nebraska, Bryce McGowans, he had 14. He is the only player on the Huskers roster with double digits. He shot five of seven and two of three from downtown. We'll get things started here as the starters will make their way back on. Savion Flagg, Demarcus Lampley, Tristan Igpe, Jaden Ray, and... We'll see who is out there. I don't believe it is Kuba Kowalski. It is, well, Ikpe is out there. Savion Flagg is there. And Dante Powers, that's who's out there. So Sam Houston will start here as they'll move from left to right now, changing up the sides. And we are back in action from Pinnacle Bank Arena. Powers over to the right wing. It's Demarcus Lampley. One-on-one -on -one action. Lampley swings the pass over to Powers at the top. And boy, just a miscommunication as he threw it away. As Savion Flagg was cutting back inside, Coach Hooten not too happy about that miscommunication. You cannot turn over the ball on those type of plays, especially against this Nebraska team. Sam Houston turns it over to start the game, or start the second half. 32-27, Bearcats holding on to the advantage. Savion Flagg had that floater as time expired inside the paint for Sam Houston in the end of the first half. Here come the Cornhuskers, double teamed as Bryce McGowan's. And boy, Tristan Epe stripped it. Javion May has it on the right side, one on one, throw it up, and that is a goal tend and Javion May for two. Oh baby, what a play. Boy, this Bearcat team is hustling. Coach Hooten is happy, he is out there clapping in front of his teammates and the Huskers won an early timeout. We'll take it with them for 30 seconds from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. 
At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip from Lincoln, Nebraska, as Sam Houston leading 34 to 27. JV on May made a layup earlier. It was actually on a goaltend. Tristan Igpe with the assist and great ball movement out there by Sam Houston. They are holding serve here as we're just about 33 seconds into the second half. I want to welcome everybody in that's joining us in the booth as well. Dave Richardson joining us. Thank you. Saying. Uh, talking about the rebounding by Sam Houston. And by the way, the Bearcats now with 26 boards in this game. Rod Jarman joining us. Deanna Thompson saying, come on, Cats, get it together. Appreciate you. Uh, Deneen, we love you and always get to see you at the games as well. Also, our good friend Greg Smith joining us. Nathan talking about a tough crowd earlier. Patsy Ann Reed cheering on the Bearcats. And Dave Richardson saying, need to pretend like it's 0-0 to start the second half. Couldn't agree more, Dave. If you've got a comment, send them to us in the booth. We'll try to get to those. You can also text us on the Bearcat fan text line. That number is open at 512-522-9105. Again, the Bear Bearcat fan text line is open at 512-522-9105. As we're still in a little bit of an extended timeout, the officials are at the scores table. Just checking a few things here, making sure they've got everything correct. On the court for Sam Houston, J.B. on May, Demarcus Lampley, Tristan Epe, Dante Powers, and Savion Flagg. So all of your starters are out there. And for Nebraska, it is Bryce McGowan's, Walker, Verge Jr., Mayan, and, uh, and also McGowan's brother is out there as well, Trace McGowan's. Trey McGowan's. That's what they were double checking just to make sure that that went in and uh, this could be a technical foul here. And so Sam Houston will go to the line here. It's Dante, beg your pardon, it's Demarcus Lampley. So they called a technical foul. Here is the first for Lampley and that one is good. Demarcus Lampley doesn't miss many of them. He was 0 for 1 though to start this season. Lampley will take another one here on the right side. Bends his knee, spins the ball in his left hand, right-handed free throw. Bounces off and no good for DeMarcus Lampley. So the Bearcats shot the free throws. It was a foul against McGowan's, and again, I'm not sure. It may have been a technical foul there, and Sam Houston's going to get it right back. It is Savion Flag. He'll flip it up from the paint, rolls in and good for Savion Flag. One of the Bearcats with a nice trip down there on that time. And the officials here are going to whistle things dead for the moment. A lot of confusion going on. And they're going to separate them here as I believe we have a timeout on the court by the Bearcats. We'll take it with them for 30 seconds. We'll be back in a moment from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. For any of your shipping, faxing, copying, or notarizing needs, get on down to Pack and Ship. Big or small, they ship it all. Conveniently located right off 45 on Highway 30 next to Hobby Lobby. At Pack and Ship, there are no lines. They have a kind, experienced staff ready to help you. Pack and Ship, happily serving all residents of Walker County and the surrounding areas. Pack and Ship. Welcome back, friends. We're Rob Hip. Thanks for joining us tonight for Sam Houston Men's Basketball. As we are here in the Pinnacle Bank Arena in Lincoln, Nebraska, still in a timeout here. Sam Houston, boy, they've got a 10-point advantage now. This is their largest lead, 37 to 27. Again, this Nebraska team, they were upset on Tuesday in their season opener, hosting Western Illinois in a 75 to 74 loss. Trying to avoid going 0-2 this season. The Bearcats going to try to go 2-0, and, and this would be a huge victory for this Sam Houston team, building their confidence. A fairly new squad. Still have four of the five guys that are on the court that played last year. Savion Flagg is the exception. Nebraska will inbound the ball in front of the scores table on the left side. That's their side of the court. It will go into the hands of Burge. 
Back up top to McGowan's. It is Bryce McGowan's and Savion, I beg your pardon, Javion May, charged with a quick foul. It's the third personal for Javion May and the first team foul of this second half. You don't want to see Javion May get into too much foul trouble. As the Huskers will inbound, this time opposite end of the court, across from the scores table, but still on their own side. Goes over to the left corner into the hands of Mayan. Still working a dribble inside, turn around, wide open here for McGowan's. He's fouled, the shot won't go in, but he'll go to the line shooting too. Ipe pointing to his numbers on his chest saying, that was me. We'll see who it's on. It is on Ipe. That is his second personal and the second team foul, just like that for Sam Houston. So Bryce McGowan's at the line here, the six foot seven freshman guard. 83% free throw shooter in the first game, makes the first one here. He's also the leading scorer, two of four, now make it three of five from the charity stripe. He's got 15 points. His team trailing 37 to 28, makes the second one as well. So he makes both free throws. Sam Houston inbounds. Savion flag to Dante Powers in the backcourt. Right-handed dribble, brings it across the timeline into the front court. It's guarded by Verge. Goes back over, top of the three-point line, still with the right-handed dribble, now crosses it over to his left hand. Swings a pass down to Savion Flagg. He'll find Javion May for three. Bounces out, no good from the left corner. Good ball movement, Javion just couldn't connect. He can make those from time to time. Now back over the left side is Derek Walker. He'll throw up a shot inside the semicircle, and that one's good. And so a quick little 4-0 run here for Nebraska. Brings it back 37-31. Bearcats by six. Over to the right side, DeMarcus Lampley. Bounce pass up top, JB on May. Finds Savion flag on the left wing. Quick chest pass, goes to Dante Powers. High screen, Ipe. Powers finds Lampley. Straight away three. This one off the back of the rim, it won't fall. Nobody was there to box out for Sam Houston. The Bearcats thought that they had stripped it, and instead a foul here. Ipe came up with, thought that he had a clean strip, and a foul is called though against Sam Houston. It is on DeMarcus Lampley. It is his first personal. And already the third team foul here for Sam Houston. And boy, we're not even two minutes into this, about a minute and a half. Actually now down to two minutes. 18.07 to go here in the ball game. Sam Houston leading 37 to 31. As the Huskers have it back over to the right side. It's Derek Walker, he'll find Verge for three. Shot's not there, good clear out. And Dante Powers has the rebound on the far side. Into the front court, Powers with the right-handed dribble. Ipe trying to set a high screen, Powers. See if he'll work through it here. With the right-handed dribble, now goes over to Savion Flag. Flag trying to cut through a defender. He'll drop this one off over to Powers. Now over to Ipe on the left wing with 12 on the shot clock. Ipe driving inside baseline. He'll find Powers. Around we go, JV on May. Good ball movement. Demarcus Lampley with five. Slips inside, bounces it off. Shot's not there. And JV on May flips it back over to Savion Flag. Here's another three from Lampley. This one won't drop. Another offensive rebound. Ipe spinning around inside, drops it in. And no, it's an offensive foul against Tristan Ipe. Oh, man, great ball movement by the Bearcats, and unfortunately an offensive foul against Tristan Ipe. And that is his third personal and the fourth team foul by the Cats. Coach Mudge, the assistant coach, and Hooten out there, and Ipe will have to head over to the bench. Trying to see who checked in for him. DeMarcus Lampley still out there. Savion Flag out there as Nebraska will inbound the ball, moving from right to left, trailing 37 to 31, 17, 12 to go, and easy does it for Verge. He found life in the paint, laid it up easily off the left side. JV on May will inbound to Dante Powers, and now the crowd on their feet here at Pinnacle Bank. Sam Houston will call a timeout. We'll take it with him for 60 seconds on a media timeout, 37 to 33 from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Ticket Smarter is glad we are back to holding live events. If you are looking to buy tickets to the best sports, concerts, and theater events, all at the very best price, look no further than TicketSmarter.com or on the app. Buying tickets at Ticket Smarter will help support children in need. For every ticket transaction on Ticket Smarter, $1 will be donated to a children's charity. Ticket Smarter is proud to be the official ticketing partner of Bearcat Athletics. Ticket Smarter, a smarter way to buy tickets. 
Curious about what real estate agents enjoy the most? It's about reminding our clients that dreams really do come true. Remax is the number one real estate company nationwide. Remax Prime Properties is a locally owned family business in Huntsville. Need a realtor knowledgeable in our area? Call one of our experienced agents and let us guide you home. Remax Prime Properties is located at 1215 Financial Plaza, Huntsville, Texas, and is a proud partner of SHSU Athletics. Eat them up, cats. Nebraska on a 6-0 run over the last two minutes and 22 seconds. They have made three of their last four shots from the field. Sam Houston scoreless in the last two and a half minutes. The Bearcats nursing a 37-33 lead on the road in Lincoln at Nebraska. 17 minutes to go in the ballgame as we are three away. Sam Houston's last field goal came at the 19-22 mark. It was Savion Flag making a layup. He's got 18. That's a game high for him. His season high. We've only played one game. Is 20 points, but nobody else close to Savion. Demarcus Lampley, Jaron Cook, they've each got four points, three points for Powers, and then two apiece for May, Ikpe, Ray, and Scroggins. So we'll need to see some more players getting involved. Bearcats have led throughout this ball game, starting from the 1506 mark. They have tied it twice. The largest lead for Sam Houston was one minute into the second half when they led by 10, 37 to 27. So they have not scored since then. Bryce McGowan's for Nebraska on the flip side. He has made four of his last five shots. He is the leading scorer for the Huskers with 16. And Sam Houston will try to find some life here and uh, extend this lead. But the momentum right now clearly in favor of Nebraska. Well, welcome everybody in. Had a text message coming on our fan line earlier, a, a number ending in 2285. Not sure who that is. Let us know who you are, but they're cheering on the Bearcats tonight, saying go gang, appreciate you. If you've got those messages, text them to us, 512-522-9105. JV on May will inbound for the Bearcats on the right side from just in front of his bench to Dante Powers. Goes over to Kean Scroggins, who's back in the ball game. Kean will hand it off over to May. May with the right-handed dribble around the world to the right wing. Keeps it, goes inside the paint, throws it up right side. Oh, baby, what a shot from JV on May. Wow. It's two for JV on May off the right side. And that will stop the drought for the Cats, leading 39-33, 16-45 to go. As the Huskers have it back on the left side, it's Derek Walker, hands off to McGowan's. He's guarded by May, way out high on the right wing, now straight away, long three. That one rattles home, my goodness gracious. As he was well outside of NBA three range. And that ball falls in from downtown, 39-36. Powers trying to answer. This one well short, and the rebound goes into the hands of Derek Walker. So a chance here for the Huskers to tie it on a three. It's 39-36, 16-20 to go, as they will take a three. It is Burge Jr., but a foul called before the shot. And it's on Sam Houston. We'll see who this is. So the foul is on the Bearcats. Shot was nowhere near no good. No, it was an offensive foul. Wow, the foul was on the offensive side against Nebraska, and the Bearcats will have it back. I believe it was on Derek Walker, his third personal foul. And we've got a timeout on the court. So Sam Houston leading by three, 39-36, 15-59 to go. We'll take 30 seconds on a timeout from Ben Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. The Bearcat Pavilion at Bowers Stadium is a new and exciting place to enjoy Bearcat football. Fans will find Smokin' Sammy's Barbecue, sodas, beer and wine, and a number of other food options from atop the southwest corner overlooking all of the action at Bowers Stadium. Bearcat Pavilion can be reserved on game days for pregame and or postgame private functions and may also be reserved for private events throughout the year. For more information about Bearcat Pavilion at Bowers Stadium, call 936-294-2701. Welcome back, friends, and a pleasant good evening to you. Happy Friday night, 39-36. to 36. The Bearcats by three on the road in Lincoln, Nebraska, facing the Huskers, the second game of the season for both of these teams. For the Bearcats, it's been the Savion flag show, 7-12 from the field, 4-6 of six from downtown. He's got 18 points, five boards, and an assist to go with that. He's turned it over four times in 20 minutes. On the flip side, for Nebraska, Bryce McGowan, the 6'7 freshman guard, he is six of eight from the field, three of four from three-point land, four of six from the charity stripe and three boards. He's turned it over once, and he's got 19 points in 21 minutes. So that really, if you look at the score sheet, 
You've only got one player for each team in double digits. The Bearcats had Lampley and Savion flag on Wednesday night, both with 20 points. But so far here, just trying to find some more distribution. Everybody that's got out there except two players has scored. The only players that have came in, only four minutes for Damon Nicholas Jr. He's got four points. And then Kuba Krawowski came in very briefly uh, for two minutes. He's got no points as well. So those are your two players that have not scored. Bearcats shooting 14 of 40 from the field at 35%, 7 of 21 at 33% from three-point land and four of six from the free throw line. They've hauled in 30 rebounds, 29 for Nebraska. But this offensive rebound season so far through two games has been very efficient for the Bearcats. They have pulled in 10 boards on the offensive side of the glass. Only scored six points though off of eight Nebraska turnovers. Nebraska on the flip side, they have scored 11 points off of 11 Sam Houston turnovers. So we'll get back into it here. It was an offensive foul before that media timeout. Derek Walker out now, Eduardo, uh, Andre, Andre Eduardo back in. So for the Cats, it is Flag, May, Lampley, Powers, and Scroggins on the court. And Dante Powers will have it to start things here, moving from left to right for Sam Houston as he's trying to fend off the defender birds with his left hand inside the paint. Throws this one up from the free throw line. He's actually trying to lob it over to Kean Scroggins. And we're going to have a foul on the offensive side against Sam Houston. It's on Kean Scroggins. That is his third personal. And the fifth team foul for Sam Houston. So Scroggins there picking up the foul. It's 39 to 36, 15 40 to go here in the ball game. Nebraska has it moving from right to left. Left handed dribble verge inside the paint. He was wide open, missed the shot, but he was fouled by Dante Powers. Powers takes both of his hands, claps them over his mouth in disgust. So Dante Powers quickly with four personal fouls and six team fouls, friends, and we are not even five minutes into the second half. So actually seven team fouls now will do free throws here for Nebraska. The first shot was no good for Bird Jr. He was in the active shooting. Actually six fouls, I beg your pardon, for Sam Houston. Next free throw on the way, this one is good. It's 39-37, Bearcats by two. As Sam Houston will bring it to the front court, it's Jaden Ray who checked back in moments ago. Over to Lampley on the right wing, bounced off his foot, goes out of bounds, and he can't believe it. Burge was bringing the pressure on him. They're on that near side sideline, and it went off the foot of Dante Powers. Bryce McGowan's to inbound, throws it in the backcourt to Burge Jr. He's guarded by Ray. On the near side from right to left, crossover dribble between the legs. Now over to the right side, trying to work from the screen. JV on May almost had a strip. Burge will keep it here. He'll find a wide open Bryce McGowan's for three. This shot off the back of the rim, no good. Savion flag, haul down that rebound, big fella. And the Bearcats wanting to run. Now Jaden Ray will slow things down. Standing on the R of the Huskers logo, just to the right of center court, back on his own side on the right side. Working a right-handed dribble, turns around, high screen, Kean Scroggins. He'll find JV on May over the right wing at the top of the three inside the paint. May flip and dip, right side, yes, good. JV on May, fancy footwork. Bearcats with a little bit of insurance there. 41 to 37, Huskers have it back to the left side. We've got a good one tonight here in Lincoln. Ball goes up top over to Andre. Andre will find Burge, Burge from inside. This one flipped over to Breidenbach. Breidenbach inside the paint, throws this one up. And one blocking foul. Now Savion, or Javion May was trying to take the charge. He is so efficient at that. He had two or three of them on Tuesday night. And unfortunately on this, they say that his feet weren't set. And it is a foul against Javion May. And he's going to head over to the bench for the Bearcats. Four personal fouls for JV on May and 16 fouls now for Sam Houston. Free throws coming here from Nebraska, trailing 41 39. This one, the and one, is good for Breidenbach. 41 to 40. Bearcats holding on to a one point advantage. They've led by as many as 10, but the Huskers have found a way to cut back into this one. It's into the hands of Savion Flag up top over to Kean Scroggins, over the head pass. 
He will find Jaden Ray. Down low, Savion flag, right baseline, turn around, jumper. Oh, baby, he dropped it at the bottom of the net. Savion flag has been the saving grace here in this game so far for Sam Houston. This one knocked away. Flag poked it away. Up front, Ray wide open, right side, yes. The Bearcats with a very quick run here after only leading by one, and they have extended it back to a five-point advantage. Nebraska back from right to left. Finds Breidenbach. He'll throw this one over his head to Verge. Verge guarded by Ray on that right corner. Trying to wiggle his way inside. Flips it up from the semicircle. They'll wave this one. Shot did not count anyways, but it is a foul, and we'll see if it's a one-and-one one or if it was in the act of shooting. It's the second personal on Jaden Ray and the eighth team foul. The way that whistle came off, it sounded like it was a one-and-one, one, but they are going to give him two as he clearly was in the act of shooting. So two free throws coming up here for Burge Jr., He'll bend his knees, right-handed free throw, first one on the way, and good at the bottom of the net. Back in the game for Nebraska, number zero, C.J. Wilcher. C.J. Wilcher will check back into the game for Nebraska as Trey McGowan's over to the bench. Bird Jr. made the first free throw. Six points on the night, now make it seven as he made the second free throw. Inbound pass from Savion Flag goes to Jaden Ray on the far side, 45 to 42, Bearcats holding on to the advantage here. Jaron Cook back into the game. At the top of the three-point line, swings it over to Lampley. Left wing, Lampley inside, floats one up, it's not there. Scroggins trying to hold down the rebound, can't hold on to it. Goes in the hands of Bird Jr. on the near side from right to left, he sees a lane. Now backs out of it, turnaround jumper from just outside the paint. That shot's not good. Wilcher there though to easily clean it up as it fell right into his hands. It's 45-44, Bearcats by one. They have made three of their last four shots, however. Savion Flag with 20. He's tied his 20 points from Wednesday night. Jaron Cook has it. Straight away three. This one off the back of the rim. It won't fall. And the rebound fighting around. It's on the court. Still poking it around. And we should have a jump ball situation. As Kean Scroggins was down there. Savion Flag was poking around it. The whistles blow, and hopefully we'll have a jump ball situation. The possession arrow, I believe, to Nebraska. We'll see how the refs short this one out. It's a jump ball, and Nebraska will have it. So good call there. Good no foul call on that one by the officials. As Damon Nicholas Jr. will check back into the game for Demarcus Lampley. So Lampley will head over the bench. He'll get a standing ovation from his teammates. He's played in 24 minutes alongside Savion Flag. So Lampley getting a breather. Only one of 10 from the field, though. That is uncharacteristic for Demarcus Lampley. Bearcats 17 of 46 as they're down to 37%. 14 of 36 for Nebraska. And the Huskers have the ball and a chance to regain the lead. This one goes back into the hands of Trey McGowan. He's working inside, left side. This shot isn't there. And the rebound by Kean Scroggins inside the circle. Bearcats will try to extend the lead only by one here. It is Savion Flag throws this one away to Jaden Ray. And Coach Hooten is absolutely livid. Miscommunication on the play as Savion Flag was trying to go to Jaden Ray, and Jaden Ray didn't communicate, and they turned it over. And for Sam Houston, their 13th turnover, it is five turnovers for Savion Flag, and the Huskers with an opportunity here to take the lead. Trailing 45-44, 12-13 to go here in the game from Lincoln. Trey McGowans has it over to the left wing, Breidenbach. He'll take up a floater now as he ran inside. Shot isn't there, it's no good. Savion Flag with the rebound. And the officials here are gonna whistle three times and blow it dead. Not sure here. The officials whistled this one dead, and it will take us to a timeout. So timeout on the floor, and we'll stretch it to a media timeout for 60 seconds. Exciting one tonight here in Lincoln, 45-44, Bearcats by one. We'll be back in a moment from Ben Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Sam Houston Bearcats are national champions. Don't miss the excitement of Bearcat football. Season tickets and single game seats still available. Call the Bearcat ticket office at 936-294-1729 or go online at gobearcats.com forward slash tickets. Hi there, this is Glenn Edwards. Allow me to share the Wiesner experience with you. 
You know, what's that, you might say? Well, the Wiesner experience is being treated like family when you're buying a new car or truck. The Wiesner experience is when your expectations are not only met, but they are exceeded. The Wiesner experience is why customers go back year after year for all of their vehicle needs. Now, I've had the Wiesner experience both in the showroom and in the service department, and I know I will again. And you can too. So go have your own Wiesner experience. You'll be glad you did. That's Wiesner of Huntsville. Back at it here from Pinnacle Bank Arena, Rob Hip. Thanks for joining us. 45-44, Sam Houston men's basketball on the road, facing the Huskers, leading by one with 11.58 to go here in the second half. We'll pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. 101.7 KSAM is KSAM Huntsville, and you're listening to the Bearcats Sports Network. Bearcats holding on to a one-point advantage, 45-44. to 44. They are scoreless in the last two minutes. Nebraska, they have had their woes as well, though, only making one of their last four shots. Bryce McGowan's has been the difference maker for Nebraska tonight. 19 points, 6 of 9 from the field, 3 of 5 from downtown, and 4 of 6 from that charity stripe. He's holding three rebounds and a turnover in 25 minutes. On the flip side for Sam Houston, the only player in double digits. Savion Flagg with 20 tonight. He has three rebounds away from a double-double also, by the way. 8 of 13 from the field, 4 of 6 from downtown. Seven rebounds, two assists, a steal. And about all he's missing right now is a block and a couple of free throws. He's turned it over five times in 24 minutes. We'll get back into action here from Pinnacle Bank as Sam Houston will head back down to the court as they break their huddle, and Nebraska will break their huddle. Nebraska tonight in their home white jerseys, white pants, trimmed in red, the Nebraska Cornhusker logo to the pant legs on either side, and Huskers written across in that cursive font across the front. Bearcats in their black jerseys, black pants, numbers in orange, outlined in white, Sam of the Head logo above those numbers. The Bearcats will have it here moving from left to right as Jaden Ray will pass it over to Savion Flag. Jaron Cook has it at the top. Drop pass over to Jaden Ray, and Ray trying to fight for it, and this ball goes out of bounds, and it goes off of Nebraska. Come on, guys, you got to get that call. As Jaden Ray was poking it around, Eduardo Andre was down there. And from our look here, oh, they turned. They said that it was off of Nebraska. Wow. The officials were talking it over. The fans weren't happy for a moment. And as it looked in real time, it almost looked like it went off of Andre. So Nebraska will catch a break here. And they will inbound under their own rim, trailing by one, 45 to 44 with 11.43 to go here in the game. Inbound pass goes over to Bryce McGowans as he is guarded by Jaron Cook. Cook, good defense here. McGowans can't do anything with it. They have to go around the world over to Trey McGowans. He'll work inside the paint from the circle and a foul here, probably on Nicholas Jr. Bearcats already in the bonus, but it didn't matter anyways here. It's two shots coming up. Oh, they're going to call it on Jaden Ray. Oh, wow. So it is the third person on the ninth team foul. This one was in the act of shooting regardless. Trey McGowan's at the line here to shoot two. He's the starter, still looking for his first points. He's 0 of 3 from the field and 0 of 1 from the charity stripe. Here's a free throw, and this one falls in. They actually said it was a 1 and 1. That's surprising because I thought... Well, that's right, because he was not in the act of shooting. So the one and one, the first one is good. He's got his first points, and we are tied up at 45 apiece. It's the first moment for Nebraska in quite some time that they have tied it, and now they lead it. That free throw rattled in. The last lead was at the 12:42 mark when it was seven to six. And Nebraska has regained the lead 46 to 45. Bearcats back on the right side. They've got a score here. Epe has it. 11.30 to go. Over to Lampley. Corner three partially blocked. And the Bearcats knocked it out of bounds. It was up in the air, and Lampley was partially blocked. He had a good look at a three, but then at the last moment, a defender came up and put a hand in his face. So Nebraska here can try to build on that one point advantage. 46 45, 11.30 to go. As Lampley, Ray, Cook, and Ikpe and Scroggins on the court for Sam Houston. Nebraska has it on the left side. It's Eduardo Andre. Andre, give and go. Throw it up. Good and one. Now the momentum clearly, the momentum train in favor of Nebraska. And one opportunity coming up here for the Huskers. So 
We'll have a substitution here. Tristan Epe will head back over to the bench, and checking back in for him is Savion Flag. So an and one opportunity here for the Huskers, leading by three, trying to make it a two-possession game with 11 minutes to go. 48-45, and the free throw is good by Andre. It's a four-point advantage. Nebraska on an 8-0 run of the last three minutes. Bearcats scoreless in that same time frame. Savion Flag over to the right wing. Jaron Cook bounce pass down low. Kean Scroggins holds on to it. It was poked away for a moment. Now Scroggins will find Savion Flag diving inside. He puts up a shot off the left side. The shot won't fall, but he's fouled, and he'll go to the line shooting too. And that was all made possible from a second extra effort by Kean Scroggins. It's on Bryce McGowan's. It's only his first personal and the seventh team foul here by Nebraska. So at the line, shooting two, Savion Flagg. 20 points already, his first time at the free throw line tonight. As he'll bend his knees, right-handed free throw shot, good for Savion Flagg. 49-46, trying to bring it back to a two-point deficit. Flag takes a few dribbles, spins it in his left hand, right-handed free throw shot, bounces around, won't fall, and it drops into the hands of Nebraska. They're on the far side, moving from right to left. Trey McGowan is directing traffic. Now into the front court, guarded by Demarcus Lampley. He'll flip one over to Wiltshire for three, corner, no good. And a foul there on Ken Scroggins as he held down Eduardo Andre as he was going for the rebound. Kean Scroggins with his fourth personal, and that is the 10th team foul by the Bearcats. So the Huskers will shoot to the rest of this 10-30. They are leading 49 to 46. With 10-30 to go, here is the first free throw, and it's good for Eduardo Andre. Kean Scroggins will head out as Kuba Kowalski checks back into the game. He's only played two minutes. Scroggins was in there for 12. A lot of foul trouble here for Sam Houston. Javion May has four. Dante Powers with four. Ipe with four. And Scroggins with four. Second free throw is good by Andre. Makes both of them. It's 51 to 46. Largest lead for Nebraska. With 10 15 to go here in the game. Ray has it over to Lampley. Lampley has been cold. He's got to find some juice here. Bounce pass over to Ray, back up top over to Savion Flag with five on the clock. He's looking, swings it over Lampley. Lampley with two, step back jumper, straight away, three at the buzzer, yes! Turn on the lights, it's DeMarcus, light him up, Lampley from downtown! None other of a bigger shot tonight than that one there just moments ago from Lampley. That's only his second basket of the game. Here's a three back the other way. This is an air ball. Boy, the air conditioner turned on and blew it away. Bearcats trying to find some momentum. Savion flag to the right side, loses the handle, but able to hold on to it. Jaden Ray has it. Nebraska leading by two, 51-49, 9.50 to go here in the game. As Ray wiggles his way, throws it over his right shoulder to Savion Flag. He'll float this one from about seven. Shot's not there. Rebound, though. Put back good by Savion Flag. And the Bearcats have tied it back up at 51 apiece. We've got a barn burner going here tonight in Nebraska. Wilshire has it. He'll flip this one to his teammate. Now over to the corner. That looked like a two. Shot is not there as it goes on the back of the backboard. They're going to whistle this one out, and Sam Houston should have it. They're actually going to call a foul here. The officials talking things over. Oh, man, they're going to call a foul against Sam Houston? Wow. Well, it looked like they're going to call it's a technical foul. Wow, Jaron Cook with a technical foul. That is so critical. You have got to maintain your composure. Here's the technical free throw, and it's good. Put in by McGowan's, and now Nebraska takes a one-point lead, 52-51 with 9.01 to go. Savion Flagg standing down under the Nebraska basket on the left side as he's having a chat, friendly chat with one of the officials. Sam Houston trailing by one here, 52-51, 9-0-1 to go in the ball game. 
As Savion Flagg will inbound under the Huskers' rim on the right side, standing on the KA of the Nebraska logo. He'll get the bounce pass from the official. Inbound pass goes to Jaden Ray. Ray casually taking his time from left to right. Now gets his sneaker squeaking as he'll wiggle his way. Floats it from the paint. Good for Jaden Ray. He flipped that one from near the right elbow, and the Bearcats regain the lead. 53-52, 8.50 to go. As the Huskers have it, it's Wilshire back over to the left side. Now up top, Trey McGowan's trying to spin his way inside. He'll find Mayen for three. Shot's not there, and the Bearcats poked it out of bounds. Kowalski was down there, and he poked it over to Lampley, but it was out of bounds. 53-52, 8.30 to go. Bearcats with a one-point advantage on the road in Lincoln tonight. As the Huskers will inbound, standing on the B of their own logo on the left side of the rim under his own basket, up top to Walker. Walker slings it back to Verge Jr., left wing, guarded by Ray, trying to work his way inside, floats it up, good, and one. Boy, that's so tough. The Bearcats have the one-point advantage and now giving up an and-one opportunity. It's on Kuba Karwowski, that's his first personal. And the Bearcats already have Nebraska in the double bonus. Our good friend, Jonathan Reed, joining us. Saying, eat them up, Cats. Appreciate you, Jonathan. And also, Maddie and Natalie wishing the best of luck from Huntsville. That's who sent us the message earlier in the booth. Here's the N1 free throw by Verge. It's on its way, and it's good. And Nebraska regains a two-point advantage, 55-53. to 53. In 8.20 to go. If you've got a text message, send them to us. We'll leave that Bearcat fan text line open for a little bit longer at 512-522-9105. Again, 512-522-9105. As Jaden Ray will bring it into the front court for the Cats, trailing by two. He'll find Savion Flag left corner, thought about a three, and now oh, he stepped out of bounds. Boy, Savion Flag stepped out of bounds, and it's a turnover for him. That is his sixth of the night, and the 16th turnover by Sam Houston. Only nine for Nebraska. Sam Houston still out rebounding the Huskers 36 to 29. But Nebraska here with a chance to extend their two point lead. 55 53, 805 to go here in the game. As Verge will bring it into the front court from right to left. Going through defenders, Kowalski is there, good defense. Spins around, blocked there by Jaden Ray, but Verge able to haul it back down. Kowalski pokes it away. Ray up front to Lampley. Lampley right side, he's blocked. And it goes back into the hands of the Huskers. Right back to Tome Nagua. It is Verge Jr. from the baseline. He'll find a teammate. This one is blocked by Savion Flag. Goes back to Verge. He'll throw it up. Bounces around. Good. Boy, Bearcats cannot catch a break. Nebraska, before that, they were only one of their last five shots, but they extend their lead now by four. 57-53. They led by as many as five. But time, got to start watching out for it. 7.30 to go here. Here's a three-pointer for Flag. This one rolls off. Kowalski trying to get the rebound. He can't hold on to it. Turned over, Walker has it. Up front, over to Verge on the far side, moving from right to left. He'll work it inside the paint, floats it up, right side. Shot isn't there, out of bounds, off of Nebraska's Lat Mayen. And the Bearcats trying to find some juice here, trailing 57 to 53 with seven minutes to go. We'll step aside for a media timeout. We'll be back in a moment from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. The Bearcat Pavilion at Bauer Stadium is a new and exciting place to enjoy Bearcat football. Fans will find Smokin' Sammy's Barbecue, sodas, beer and wine, and a number of other food options from atop the southwest corner overlooking all of the action at Bauer Stadium. The Bearcat Pavilion can be reserved on game days for pregame and or postgame private functions and may also be reserved for private events throughout the year. For more information about Bearcat Pavilion at Bauer Stadium, call 936-294-2701. Enjoy a great round of golf at the Bearcat Course, formerly Raven Nest. Conveniently located on the southbound side of 45 in Huntsville, the Bearcat Course offers award-winning value with special rates for alumni, faculty, staff, and students of Sam Houston State University. Memberships are available for as low as $139 per month that include unlimited greens fees and cart fees for the whole family. Visit the golf shop to get fitted for equipment and for the full stock of Sam Houston State University logoed men's and women's apparel. Let's play golf at the all-new Bearcat Course in Huntsville. 
Welcome back, friends. Rob Hip live from Lincoln, Nebraska at Pinnacle Bank Arena. 57-53, Bearcats trailing 5-4 with 6.59 to go in the game. Sam Houston led this one for most of the ball game, but Nebraska has found a way to climb their way back in. Sam Houston, by the way, led by as many as 10 with 19 minutes to go in the second. It was 37 to 27. Nebraska right now, their largest lead earlier was 51 to 46 back at the 10-30 mark. And so Sam Houston will try to figure something out here and get back into this ball game. Savion Flag, 23 points after he put up 20 on Wednesday night, nine of 16 from the field, four of seven downtown. It's been the story of McGowan's and now Verge and Andre. So three players for Nebraska now in double digits. We kept talking earlier about how it's just McGowan's. Well, he's got 20, Verge has 12, and Andre has 11 as the horn will sound and we will get back into action here in Lincoln. Welcome everybody in. Thanks for joining us. Leslie Hammond in Shreveport cheering on Savion Flag and the Bearcats. Appreciate you. So much, Leslie. Thanks for joining us in the booth. And if you've got a text message, feel free to send them to us at 512-522-9105. Again, that's the Bearcat fan text line. It's open tonight at 512-522-9105. We'd love to hear from you. Good buddy Kevin Bowers joining us as well. Appreciate you. Quentin Baylor still watching. Deneen Thompson cheering on the Cats. And Jonathan Knobloch saying, guys, don't let it slip away. Gary Snyder also joining us in the booth on the YouTube feed. We'll get back into action here. The Bearcats inbounding. It's over to Jaden Ray from left to right. Ray will find Nicholas Jr. He'll work inside from the right elbow. Pass to Scroggins. Back over to Jaden Ray, guarded by two. Up high, Scroggins. Throw it up, big fella. It's no good, but Scroggins will go to the line, shooting two. Great ball movement there by the Bearcats on the right side. And that foul is on Bryce McGowan's. It's his second personal. And the fourth team foul, I believe, here in the second half by the Huskers. So Kean Scroggins at the line, shooting two. He has a perfect two for two tonight. That's his only two points. Bends his knees, left-handed free throw shot, won't fall. First free throw, no good for Scroggins. On the court, it is Flag, Lampley, Ray, Scroggins, and Nicholas for your Bearcats. McGowan's Bird Jr., Walker. Trace, Trey McGowan, second free throw won't fall either. Nicholas Jr. trying to haul it in, and he is on the court still tiptoeing his way. Throws it out, and the Bearcats have it. It's Jaden Ray over to Savion Flag on the right wing. He'll jack up a three, raise the flag from downtown, and the Bearcats nail it. A huge critical three-pointer there by Sam Houston. Makes it a one-point Nebraska lead, 57 to 56. They'll take a jumper from the left elbow. It's Verge Jr. It's not there. And a foul here on Kean Scroggins as he was trying aggressively to haul it in. I like what I'm seeing from Kean, but the officials don't like it as he fouled Derek Walker. And so for Kean Scroggins, unfortunately, he will foul out of the game. So that'll do it for Kean Scroggins tonight. He'll finish up with two points in 13 minutes. Actually, it's only his fifth, so he's got one more, but he will head over to the bench. But he had four there. He actually has five now. He'll head over to the bench, checking back in here for Sam Houston as Tristan Ipe, Derek Walker. And the first free throw is good. 58-56, Nebraska by two with 6.16 to go. Second free throw isn't there, flag with the rebound. The Bearcats can tie it with a three. As Jaden Ray has it in the backcourt, moving from left to right, now into the front court. Ipe on a pick and roll, but Ray will keep it. JV on May, it's Lampley from downtown. This one off the back of the iron, it won't fall. Boy, DeMarcus Lampley has struggled tonight. Two of 14 from the field, he is two of nine from three-point land. That is not a typical night for this young man. As the Huskers have it back on the left side, Verge Jr. over to Bryce McGowan's inside the paint on the right side, almost turned over, but Trey McGowan's able to hold on to it, drops it off, flipped it in, Derek Walker off the left side. Bearcats have got to get some stops here. They're trailing by four now, 60 to 56, as Ray will bring it into the front court. Working his quick feet inside the paint, throw it up. That one was blocked from behind by Derek Walker. 
and the Bearcats will get it back here as it goes out of bounds. 17 seconds on the shot clock with 5.26 to go. Sam Houston trails 60 to 56, inbounding under their own rim. Jaden Ray over to flag. He'll jack up a three. This one an air ball. JV on May hauls it in, though, on the right corner. Back over to Ipe. Here's Lampley. Lampley backpedaling his way over the right wing. Now he's going baseline to the right side. Slings this one up, and it's knocked out of bounds. Oh, man, I thought that went about out of bounds off of a Husker, and they say no, it went off the fingertips of Sam Houston, and it's a turnover by Demarcus Lampley. And it's only his second turnover on the night, but... 17 turnovers by this Bearcat team tonight. They've only made one of their last six shots and just not doing it down the stretch. As the Huskers leading by four, trying to extend it. Their largest lead was five, currently at four. As Verge has it over to the left wing, McGowan's working inside on May. Turn around, floater, good. And they've got their largest lead at six with 4.57 to go in the game. Jaden Ray. All alone in the backcourt, across the half-court line of the K of the Huskers logo. He'll rotate to the right side, flips it up, alley-oop, no, it was too low, and Savion Flag is fouled. He was trying to throw the alley-oop to Savion Flag, and it was just missed time. Flag came down with it, and a foul called here against the Huskers. It is on Wilhelm Breidenbach, and it's only the 15th foul by Nebraska, but they'll say that one was in the act of shooting. And Savion flag here to shoot two. 26 points tonight, one of two from the field. Graduate transfer from Texas A&M, trying to get his team back into this game. The right-handed free throw shot of the first one is good. He'll have one more. Lampley out there, Jaden Ray, Tristan Epe, and Javion May, those two in the keys. Flag made the first one. He'll bend his knees, right-handed free throw shot. This one off the front won't fall. Rebound McGowan's. The Huskers holding on to a five-point advantage. 62 to 57, 4.43 to go here in the ball game. As the Bearcats trying to show some pressure, Huskers have it on the left side. Wide open McGowan's, now he'll work inside. Floats this one up, partially blocked by Flag, and it's tipped over to Jaden Ray. Good stop there, the Bearcats got a score after the stop here. As we are approaching 4.30 to go, and now Jaden Ray turns it over. Coaches, though, are happy with the effort. He was trying to find a teammate. Coach Hooten cheering on his team alongside assistant coach Mudge there at the Sam Houston bench. 62 57, 421 to go in Lincoln. As Burge, he'll pass over to Bryce McGowan's and he'll nail it from downtown on the right wing. Bearcats from left to right. And we'll have a timeout here by head coach Jason Hoot. We'll take it with them for 30 seconds. We'll be back in a moment from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. The Bearcat Pavilion at Bauer Stadium is a new and exciting place to enjoy Bearcat football. Fans will find Smokin' Sammy's Barbecue, sodas, beer and wine, and a number of other food options from atop the southwest corner overlooking all of the action at Bauer Stadium. Bearcat Pavilion can be reserved on game days for pregame and or postgame private functions and may also be reserved for private events throughout the year. For more information about Bearcat Pavilion at Bauer Stadium, call 936-294-2701. Join the Sam Houston State. University Alumni Association. For only $35 a year, your membership helps provide scholarship assistance, plus networking, a travel program, discounts on home and auto insurance, car rentals, event tickets, and much more. Connect with your Bearcat pride and spirit by joining the Alumni Association. Go online, alumni.shsu.edu. As a member, you can be a part of something bigger. The Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. Join today. Welcome back, friends. Nebraska leading 65 to 57 with 3.53 to go here in the ballgame. As Sam Houston has went cold here, one of their last six shots. They've only made one of four from downtown in their last four attempts there. JV on May, though, a little bit of life here for that young man. Three of four from the field. But the only player in double digits is Savion Flaggy. has not really had much support outside of what he's been able to do tonight. 27 points, 10 of 18 from the field. He has a double-double, by the way, with his 10th rebound a little bit earlier. And Sam Houston is 
got to find some rhythm here. 352 remaining in this one. And I'm pretty confident it is 65 to 57. The official score now they finally updated it. It showed 64 to 57. 65 to 57 is the score. I want to welcome you back in here to the broadcast booth. Feel free to send us a text message. Let us know you're listening, where you're cheering from. We'll leave that open for one final time at 512-522-9105. Again, it's 512-522-9105. Let us know where you're listening from. Send us a text message. We'd love to hear from you. We'll get back into action here from Pinnacle Bank in Lincoln as the Bearcats will inbound. They've got a move here as Jaden Ray has it. On the right wing, trying to wait for a play to develop. His teammate Ipe has it. The handoff over to Savion Flag. He'll pick up his dribble over to Lampley at the top of the three. Lampley crossover dribble, drop it off over to Javion May. Now into the hands of Flag. Flag pick and roll. Ipe won't take it. It's over to May. May takes a long two-point shot. That's not a shot that he wanted. I don't think Coach Hooten's too happy about that one. It's inside the left wing. And the Huskers here will just run some clock. They're leading 65 to 57 on an eight to one run of the last three minutes, making three of their last four shots. As Verge has it guarded by May. He'll push off, and that's an offensive foul. Great job by the little fellow there. As Jaden Ray says, I know what you're gonna do, man. The five foot 10 junior guard took the offensive foul as Verge threw him backwards. Maybe a little bit of acting there. But in any case, it's an offensive foul, and as a Bearcat fan, we'll take it. Inbound pass from Javion May over to Jaden Ray at the top. Ray over the left wing. He'll find Savion Flag, trying to save the Bearcats here, as he is double teamed, trying to work through it. Savion Flag backpedaling his way now inside the paint, tried to flip it up under, gets his own ball as it got turned over. Now it's poked away, and it does go to Nebraska. Three minutes to go here in the ball game. Sam Houston trailing 65 to 57 in Lincoln. As the Huskers have it, McGowan just in front of the half court line on his own side of the left side, guarded by Lampley. Trey McGowan's working the dribble from the right side and a little pushing tick tack freshman foul it is. It's on to Marcus Lampley, his second personal. And Nebraska already in the double bonus, so they'll shoot two here. A lot of fouls, a lot of turnovers in this one. 17 for the Bearcats. They've done a good job rebounding, but just haven't been able to capitalize tonight after those turnovers. 16 points off of the 17 turnovers for Nebraska. First free throw is on its way and good. And it's 66 to 57. One more point will give. Nebraska, a 10-point advantage with 2.26 to go. Bend the knees, the right-handed free throw shot, and this one good at the bottom of the net as well. It is a 10-point advantage for Nebraska. With 2.26 to go here in the ball game on the road of the Bearcats. Shaden Ray will bring it over from left to right into the hands of Savion Flag. Flag has it on the right wing. Lampley back up top, May over the left wing. Back to Javion May. Bounce pass, slam it down. Oh, monster of a play to Tristan Epe. Boy, I need to see some more of that as this game earlier on. It was a beautiful assist from Javion May to Epe as he slammed it home. Now here's Verge. Back on the right side, 14 seconds on the shot clock, 67 59. Bearcats trailing by eight. Verge has it. He'll find his teammate inside off the left side and one. A foul there as McGowan snaked his way inside the paint. Then goes to the left from the semicircle, drops it in and one. And the foul there by Tristan Ipe, that's his fifth personal. So Ipe will head over. Nebraska students on their feet, loud here at Pinnacle Bank. Well, the Bearcats hung tough for most of this game until about the last seven or eight minutes, and they could just not hold on tonight. Coach Hooten will take them back to the drawing board. Very tough matchup, though. These guys knew it coming in. They were the underdogs. But they put up a good fight. Here's the free throw trying to make an 11-point advantage. It bounces off, and it won't fall. 
Savion flag with 139 to go. Bearcats trailing by 10, 69 to 59. So Lampley will, actually Ray will bring the front court. Savion flag thought about a very long three, pulled back on it. Coach Hooten would have not liked that. Flag has it out near the left wing, trying to work inside the paint, flips this one up, left side and one for Savion Flag. With 122 to go. Let's see if Savion can complete the trifecta here for Sam Houston. On the end one opportunity. C.J. Wilcher will check back into the ball game for Nebraska out there alongside Burge Jr., Trey McGowans. Down in the key is Wilhelm Breidenbach. Savion Flagg trying to make it 30 points tonight. He is two for four from the charity stripe. Here's the and one on its way. Will not get there as it was a miss off the front of the rim. Burge will bring it from right to left. And, boy, Jaden Ray thought he had a strip, and instead they're going to call a foul on him. So a foul by Jaden Ray. A lot of fouls tonight. Have some friends watching in the booth from Denver, North Carolina. Not Denver, Colorado. Denver, North Carolina. Appreciate you joining us tonight. And here is... The two free throws on the way. The first one by Verge on its way, and this one good. Back up to a nine-point advantage. Verge will try to make it one more. He's got 12 in this game, four of six from the free throw line. Makes the second out. The second one won't fall. But the rebound tipped out, and it goes right back to Nebraska. A minute to go here in the ball game. 70 to 61, the Huskers by nine. And a timeout is called here on the court by head coach Fred Hoiberg. We'll take it with them. We'll be back in 60 seconds from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Season tickets are on sale for 2021-22 basketball season. Season tickets start as low as $99. One price gets you both men's and women's Bearcat basketball. Call 936-294-1729 or go online at gobearcats.com slash tickets to secure your seat today. The Bearcat Pavilion at Bauer Stadium is a new and exciting place to enjoy Bearcat football. Fans will find Smokin' Sammy's Barbecue, sodas, beer and wine, and a number of other food options from atop the southwest corner overlooking all of the action at Bauer Stadium. Bearcat Pavilion can be reserved on game days for pregame and or postgame private functions and may also be reserved for private events throughout the year. For more information about Bearcat Pavilion at Bauer Stadium, call 936-294-2701. Two players have fouled out of the ball game for Sam Houston tonight. Tristan Epe and Kean Scroggins. And we're down to one minute to go here in Lincoln at Pinnacle Bank. Here's a long straightaway three. That's an air ball. 52 seconds to go. Bearcats trailing by nine, 70 to 61. The inbound JB on May to Jaden Ray. Jaden will let this one roll a little bit to hold the time. But now moves it into the front court. Bearcats got to go quickly here if they've got any chance. Ray, and that won't happen. He turned it over trying to find Savion Flag, and Burge has it. And he'll throw it up. And <laughs> he got hit from behind. The ball got tipped up, and then it would bounce off the backboard and a slam down on that play. And that was one of those plays. Here's a three pointer from the right wing. That shot isn't there. Rebound goes over to Dante Powers with 24 seconds. That shot won't fall. Nobody was down there ready to haul that one in. What I was getting out a while ago is that shot for Nebraska threw it up, bounced off the glass because it was tipped from behind, but he had a teammate right behind him to clean it up and slam it home. One and one here for Javion May. Six points tonight, his first time at the free throw line. 29 personal fouls from the Bearcats tonight. Here's the first free throw, and it's good, so he'll get another opportunity. Well, this Nebraska team got to the foul line 31 times in the season opener. 23 made free throws, and now they've broken that with 24 made. They're 24 of 34 in this ball game. Second free throw is good, 72-63. As time running out, Savion Flagg will foul Bryce McGowan's here as he was trying to reach in for it. 
So we're down to 32 seconds, 22 seconds in this game. Sam Houston will fall to one and one in, in the season. Nebraska will go to one and one after they pick up a victory. And the Bearcats will be back at home hosting Missouri State that game just a few days from now on the 17th. First free throw is good here by McGowan's. The game next Wednesday, we'll have that call right back here in the booth on our social media feeds as well as 101.7 FM KSAM. Here's McGowan's second free throw. This one's good as well. By the way, come out to the Coliseum, friends. I want to urge you to come out and support the Bearcats. It's a fun atmosphere. There was a very big crowd for the opener on Wednesday night. These guys need your support, and I'd love to see you. Here's Savion Flag, able to hold on to it with 13 seconds, throws it up, and one for Flag. Almost got it poked away inside the paint, just in front of the semicircle, and he'll have another and one opportunity, and that will put Savion at 31 points tonight. 31 for Flag. He had a great game but did not really get much else from his support cast. And with the layout of things here, unfortunately, we will not be able to talk to Coach Hooten tonight. We try to talk to him after the games. We won't be able to get him on tonight for our post-game interview. Here's Savion Flag. The end one on its way, and it won't fall. And a rebound here for Nebraska with 10 seconds. I don't think they have to advance. Well, yeah, they got to advance it still. And they do, and that should do it as the clock will wind down. Burge Jr. here stepping around, and that will do it from Lincoln. A tough one here for the Bearcats as they held through this one for about three quarters of the ball game, but Nebraska ended the game on a streak. And they win tonight 74 to 65. We'll step aside, we'll take a break. Make sure to stay with us, friends, for post game. We've got that and more coming up from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. For any of your shipping, faxing, copying, or notarizing needs, get on down to Pack and Ship. Big or small, they ship it all. Conveniently located right off 45 on Highway 30 next to Hobby Lobby. At Pack and Ship, there are no lines. They have a kind, experienced staff ready to help you. Pack and Ship, happily serving all residents of Walker County and the surrounding areas. Pack and Ship. Enjoy a great round of golf at the Bearcat Course, formerly Raven Nest. Conveniently located on the southbound side of 45 in Huntsville, the Bearcat Course offers a winning value with special rates for alumni, faculty, staff, and students of Sam Houston State University. Memberships are available for as low as $139 per month that include unlimited greens fees and cart fees for the whole family. Visit the golf shop to get fitted for equipment and for the full stock of Sam Houston State University logoed men's and women's apparel. Let's play golf at the all-new Bearcat Course in Huntsville. Sam Houston Bearcats are national champions. Don't miss the excitement of Bearcat football. Season tickets and single game seats still available. Call the Bearcat ticket office at 936-294-1729 or go online at gobearcats.com forward slash tickets. Join the Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. For only $35 a year, your membership helps provide scholarship assistance, plus networking, a travel program, discounts on home and auto insurance, car rentals, event tickets, and much more. Connect with your Bearcat pride and spirit by joining the Alumni Association. Go online, alumni.shsu.edu. As a member, you can be a part of something bigger. The Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. Join today. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. 101.7 KSAM and the Bearcat Sports Network present the Bearcat Basketball Post Game Show. Now for an in-depth analysis of tonight's game, let's return courtside with Rob Hiff. All right, friends, back at it here as uh, we close out as we start our post game wrap up again. Unfortunately, not having a chance tonight to talk to head coach Jason Hooten, but uh, the Bearcats unfortunately dropped this one tonight, 74 to 65. They played a heck of a game, though, through most of this one, but just could not hold on as Nebraska found some rhythm 
And Sam Houston found a drought there at the end. Savion Flag finished this one 31 points. We'll go over individual stats here in just a few moments, but here in this first break, we will look at the team stats. For Nebraska, 40 rebounds total. They had 10 on the offensive side, 30 defensive rebounds, 10 assists, 11 turnovers, and they had six, bl six blocks in this ball game, eight steals, 18 points in, in, off of turnovers from Sam Houston, 36 in the paint, they had 16 total fouls, and had 72 possessions in this ball game. For Sam Houston, 45 boards, 16 on the offensive side of the glass, 29 on the defense. This was another good night for Sam Houston on the rebounding side. They had 10 assists, 18 turnovers, though. And that was a problem. They had one block, four steals. They had only eight points off of turnovers in this game. 24 down in the paint, 30 fouls. We talked about that. That is just a number you'd never want to get to when you're putting a team at the line that much. You know, things are bound not to be in your favor. 26 of 36 free throws, by the way, for Nebraska. We'll step aside. We'll take one final break. When we come back, we'll look at individual stats as we wrap this one up from Lincoln, Nebraska. Again, the Cornhuskers victorious tonight, 74 to 65 over your Bearcats from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. The Bearcat Pavilion at Bauer Stadium is a new and exciting place to enjoy Bearcat football. Fans will find Smokin' Sammy's Barbecue, sodas, beer and wine, and a number of other food options from atop the southwest corner overlooking all of the action at Bauer Stadium. Bearcat Pavilion can be reserved on game days for pregame and or postgame private functions and may also be reserved for private events throughout the year. For more information about Bearcat Pavilion at Bauer Stadium, call 936-294-2701. Hi there, this is Glenn Edwards. Allow me to share the Wiesner experience with you. You know, what's that, you might say? Well, the Wiesner experience is being treated like family when you're buying a new car or truck. The Wiesner experience is when your expectations are not only met, but they are exceeded. The Wiesner experience is why customers go back year after year for all of their vehicle needs. Now, I've had the Wiesner experience both in the showroom and in the service department, and I know I will again. And you can too. So go have your own Wiesner experience. You'll be glad you did. That's Wiesner of Huntsville. Back out of here, postgame friends from Nebraska, 74 to 65 as the Huskers defeat your Sam Houston Bearcats. We'll quickly go over the final individual stats. We'll quickly just go over Nebraska. We won't go into all of them, but they had three players in double digits tonight for the Cornhuskers. And Bryce McGowan, the leading scorer on the team, he had another great night tonight. 29 points, 9 of 13 from the field. He was 4 of 7 from three-point land, 7 of 9 for free throws. He had five rebounds and one assist, one block, two fouls, and a turnover in 36 minutes of play. Alonzo Verge Jr., also a force in this ball game. The guard, he was 4 of 16 from the field. He did not make a three-pointer. He was 0 for 4, 5 Five of eight from the free throw line. Had a rebound, a seven assist, four steals, a one foul, three turnovers. And in 30 minutes, he had 13 points. And the other player, the third player, in double digits tonight for the Nebraska Cornhuskers, a young man by the name of Eduardo Andre. We talked about him a little bit in this game. The forward was three for four from the field, did not put up a three-pointer, five of six from the free throw line. He had seven rebounds, one steal, one block. In 15 minutes, Andre had 11 points. You add all that together again, 22 of 54 from the field for Nebraska. They shot just under 41%. Four of 22 from the three-point line. They were 26 of 36 at 72% from free throws. They had 40 total rebounds, 10 assists, 8 steals, 6 blocks, 16 fouls, and 11 turnovers. For your Sam Houston Bearcats, the lone Bearcat in double digits. Boy, a lot of points he put up tonight. Savion Flag after a 20-point performance on Wednesday night. How about 31 tonight for the Texas A&M graduate transfer? He was 12 of 22 from the field, 5 of 10 from downtown, 2 of 6 from the charity stripe. He had a double-double. He had 11 rebounds, 2 assists, 1 steal, 2 fouls, 6 turnovers, Again, in 36 minutes for Savion Flag, he had 31 points. Javon May, or Javion May, 3 of 5 from the field, 0 of 1 from 3 point land, 2 of 2 from the charity stripe. He had three re rebounds and one assist, four fouls, getting a little bit into foul trouble. 17 minutes, he had eight points. Demarcus Lampley, just an off night tonight for Lampley, an uncharacteristically off night. 
for that young man. We know that he'll rebound, but tonight, though, he was struggling. Two of 14 from the field, only two of nine, and, and both of his points actually from the field, they were actually three-pointers where he was two of nine tonight. He did not make anything inside, could not find the rhythm on the jump shot. He was one of two from the free throw line. He had four rebounds, two assists, and two personal fouls, two turnovers in 36 minutes. Again, DeMarcus Lampley with only seven points tonight. Jaden Ray, he provided a little bit of a spark, three of six from the field, 0 of two from downtown. He had a single rebound, three assists, one steal, four fouls for Jaden Ray, four turnovers, and in 28 minutes, that young man, the guard, the junior, had six points. Tristan Ipe, two of four from the field, six rebounds, one assist, steal, and block. He fouled out of the game, had one turnover in 27 minutes. Again, Ipe with four. Jaron Cook, one of four from the field. It was a three-pointer. All of his shot attempts tonight were three-pointers. One of two from the free throw line. He had a single rebound, one foul, 16 minutes for Jaron Cook. The guard had four points. And then Dante Powers tonight, one of the starters, one of seven. He also struggled from the field tonight. That one shot, that lone shot, was a three-pointer where he was one of four, five rebounds, and an assist. He was in foul trouble with four fouls, two turnovers in 17 minutes. Dante Powers had three points. And the last score for Sam Houston tonight was Kean Scroggins. His two points came off of two of four shooting from the free throw line, eight rebounds. He fouled out of the game. A lot of effort tonight, though, by Kean Scroggins. Like what I'm seeing from that young man, he had a single turnover in 13 minutes again, two points for Kean Scroggins. Damon Nicholas Jr., the guard, he played today only six minutes, 0 for 2. He had a steal and a foul. And then also Kuba Krawowski, the center, the tall man at seven foot two out of Warsaw, Poland. He played five minutes, no points, a foul and a turnover. So Sam Houston again losing tonight on the road their second game of this season, 74-65 to versus the Big Ten Nebraska Cornhuskers. Friends, as always, appreciate you joining us. Thanks for being a part of this broadcast. It is always our joy and privilege to bring them to you. This broadcast has been authorized under rights granted by Sam Houston to Van Wagner. The accounts and descriptions of this broadcast may not be retransmitted in any form without the express written consent of Van Wagner and Sam Houston Athletics. The executive producers of Sam Houston Basketball is Zach Kaditz. The coordinating producer is Desiree Chambers. And a special thanks to the Sam Houston Athletic Communications Office, Jason Barfield, Ben Reichard, and Cody Stark. Studio operations by KSAM. Tune in for our next Sam Houston men's basketball game. That'll be on Wednesday, November the 17th, back at home at Johnson Coliseum, hosting Missouri State. That's set for a 7.30 p.m. tip-off there. For Carlos Zimmerman, producing back at our flagship tonight, I'm Rob Hip, reminding you tonight that we're not strong enough alone to make it on our own, friends. We need each other. Provide a word of encouragement. Lend a hand to support. Somebody out there tonight needs you. Good night, and God bless from Lincoln, Nebraska. Enjoy a great round of golf at the Bearcat Course, formerly Raven Nest. Conveniently located on the southbound side of 45 in Huntsville, the Bearcat Course offers award-winning value with special rates for alumni, faculty, staff, and students of Sam Houston State University. Memberships are available for as low as $139 per month that include unlimited greens fees and cart fees for the whole family. Visit the golf shop to get fitted for equipment and for the full stock of Sam Houston State University logoed men's and women's apparel. Let's play golf at the all-new Bearcat Course in Huntsville. Curious about what real estate agents enjoy the most? It's about reminding our clients that dreams really do come true. Remax is the number one real estate company nationwide. Remax Prime Properties is a locally owned family business in Huntsville. Need a realtor knowledgeable in our area? Call one of our experienced agents and let us guide you home. Remax Prime Properties is located at 1215 Financial Plaza, Huntsville, Texas, and is a proud partner of SHSU Athletics. Eat them up, cats. For any of your shipping, faxing, copying, or notarizing needs, get on down to Pack and Ship. Big or small, they ship it all. Conveniently located right off 45 on Highway 30 next to Hobby Lobby. At Pack and Ship, there are no lines. They have a kind, experienced staff ready to help you. Pack and Ship, happily serving all residents of Walker County and the surrounding areas. Pack and Ship. listening to Sam Houston State University Bearcat Basketball. No portion of this game may be rebroadcast without express written consent from Sam Houston State University. Our broadcast partners for 101.7 KSAM. We are the Bearcat Sports Network.